Whoa. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? <clears throat> Welcome in. How are you? How are you? Everything working? Everything working? Everything working? Everything's working? Dude, let's get it. Hi. How's it going? Hey, venomous dogs. Hey, Frito. Shinichi. Jagofit. Payful Paladins. Churachomp. How's everyone doing? <laughs> How are you? Uh, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Voice changer left on? Yeah, sorry, oops. <clears throat> sorry, okay, this is the sky gray that everyone knows and loves. Hello. <clears throat> sorry, I forgot to turn it on today. Finally get some honesty around this stream, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Speaking of. Um, yeah, my class has restarted today, so I went to school today. I'm very sleepy though. <laughs> Finally, a VTuber that doesn't lie. Isn't it refreshing? Isn't it nice? I would never lie to you. Not anymore. Not since the incident. <laughs> yeah, I work on my games at least in seven days, and I've got a hundred things to do. I'm feeling ill as fuck. Oh, no! Sorry, Finn. Is there a... When you say you have to get your game release done, is it like a have-to, have-to? What kind of situation are we in with this have-to, huh? Hope you. I hope you find the motivation and energy you need, and that you're not getting sick. Please don't get sick. That would suck. Okay. Um, let's keep working on the game. So yesterday, we got things working such that you could have and save your class, and it would load when you rejoin the game. So that's all good to go. Now we need to do the actual ability unlocking. So like for each individual class, depending on how many class levels you have, you're gonna unlock new stuff. We need to do that today. Anyway, today watch Dune Part One with my friends. We're gonna watch Part Two in theaters on Tuesday. Hell yeah, dude! How'd you like it? I love the book Dune. I have not yet seen the movies. I might see the movies at some point, but I have to find a way that I could watch them here reasonably, uh, which might be difficult, but maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I might just have to uh, see Dune in Japanese, which would be fine. I just might not understand everything. I just understand like 80%. I never read the book. I'd probably be okay, actually. I think I'd be fine. But uh, yeah, how are, the, how are the movies? All right, so let's do this today. I don't want to do this. Um, Every time your class levels up, it should... Oh, excuse me. It should check to see if you have anything unlocked. Like, if you've unlocked anything alongside the class. So we need to add a resource that contains the class unlocking information. So, create class unlock, unlock resource. We can have a list of all the things that, like, oh, at level 5, if you're a knight, you get blah, 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 or whatever. Hey, Ducky Berry, welcome in. How's it going? I want to watch Wonka, but I haven't watched Dune. is stopping me. I don't want to watch Dune and be like, hey, that's really Wonka the whole time. <laughs> is it the same dude? <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, Hollywood sometimes finds like one guy and they're like, all right, you're the guy. You're going to be in every movie now. You're the guy. Dune main character actor. What is this guy? This guy, Timothy Chalamet. This guy, he's also Wonka. That's that's hilarious. How old is this guy? He's 28 years old. He's older than I am. He looks like a little baby. Hydrate, you got it. This man's older than me? There ain't no way. Look at him. He looks like he's like 21. Max. Crazy. I was acting but time to lurk. That jawline, maybe that's what's doing it for me. Makes him look like it's just a fresh little baby. <laughs> that dude does have a, you could cut glass with that thing. Looks maxing. Honestly though. <laughs> I feel like this, this used to be the looks maxing guy. Yeah, what is, this is gonna be some terrible clickbait shit, huh? Watch the moment Tom Holland called Timothy Chalet. What? He just called him live on air, not even a word. He just literally called him. That's just what people do. What? This isn't a news article. What is this? Whatever, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, it's fun when I watched Dune and saw the actor. Uh, Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy and the Baron. Dude, I hydrated. I did, I did, I did. I got you. That happens with so many actors. It's like every time I see Keanu Reeves, I just think of The Matrix. And I'll never not think of The Matrix because I love The Matrix. It's a great movie. But he, I saw him in like John Wick and I'm like, is this just The Matrix Part 4? Like, is that what we're doing here? It's like when he's retired from doing Matrix stuff. Is that is that what we're doing? It's it's a shame when you have a really successful role because you feel like you get like shoehorned into just being that guy forever. Bit of a shame. Well, also, they're, like, millionaire and incredibly successful, so maybe it's not actually that big of a shame. Maybe, I think they're okay. I think they'll be alright. Alright, how do I want to do this resource? Um, 
Let's just start making it and see if it doesn't make sense to me. So I'm gonna create a new script and this will be a class unlock. What do I want this to even look like? I shouldn't do it here, I should do it here. I should do it here. Um, I'm gonna make a new, I wanna make a new Excalibur. Yeah, here we go. Uh, race, go to dark mode, please. Dark mode, there we go. <clears throat> it's gonna look something like this. So it'll have a bunch of information. This is too zoomed in. I have some information here. Basically being like levels or le the level you're at. So like say level five and then the thing you unlock and the thing you unlock can point to a resource. So in the case of the knight at level five, you unlock like the knight attack. This will point to the knight attack base, the knight basic attack resource. So the unlock will be either an a basic attack ID, a passive ID, or a charge attack ID. Let's do charge or charge attack ID, something like this. So it gives you the level breakpoint and then whatever you get out of that thing. And maybe I do it where I just have the string for each of these three things or how is it? What is a better way of doing it? I can have it be mapped in the ID, like just a thing that you unlock. I don't know. I think Matrix is the last movie that was super bad and weird. It's a great screw you movie because it's very obvious they made it just to tank it so Hollywood leave them alone. The last Matrix? I <clears throat> kind of like the last Matrix. I I think two and three. Okay. Okay. L listen, listen. If you want a very good movie, like a well thought out, provocative, well edited, well shot movie, right? You watch the first Matrix. That is a solidly good movie, right? Right? And then if after that you say, I just want more Matrix and I don't care how it looks, two and three, they kind of hook you up, you know? You know? They're like, hey, remember all the stuff from the first movie? It's a little different now, but it's still the Matrix. Remember the Oracle? She's back. Now she has like a weird bodyguard that will hit you with a stick. And I'm like, hell yeah, dude. I love that for us. I love dude that hits me with a stick. It's like... Isn't the Animatrix just a good addition? I've never seen the Animatrix. How do you draw an Obsidian? Get the Excalidraw plugin and you can draw an Obsidian. That is how. Maybe the unlock should say... Uh... I don't know. Basic passive charge attack. It could just be an ID of a thing that unlocks. Like an unlock variant. And then it will actually add whatever the unlock ID is. There's also a way we can do it where we can just encode this information in the ID. So like... The basic attacks will be like BA1, BA2, and we can use that to map the ID to the actual thing. Or we can just say on like move ID, and there's a different thing that maps this out. Because what I don't want to do is have unlock, and then I have to set the category of the unlock. Although that's what, okay, that being said, this is way more flexible if we do it by category. Because if, if like later on we want to add a new category, they like... I don't know, room buff or something. We can add a new category here and then map the ID this way. Okay, so it will be by it will be by category, even though it's a little weird. Can I add AoE this stream? Um, if we get to it, maybe. Uh I don't have plans on it in like the checklist we have right now. Uh but that's not to say that we won't get to it today. Because we're adding the different unlocks, so maybe one of the unlocks will be AoE. I don't know yet. It depends on if we make an AoE attack. And then you can unlock it this way. But we need to do the unlocks first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good morning, all. Hey, King R. How's it going? Welcome in. Good afternoon from Japan. It's funny how they dumb down the plot and lore for the Matrix a lot. It seems religion are using human brains for computing power, which makes way more sense than the energy generation. Yeah, the energy generation thing makes no sense. Like, if you just know anything about thermodynamics, that doesn't... There's no reason that doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense. <laughs> Humans are the best battery. You know what's a better battery? Uh, batteries, actually. <laughs> I, I don't mean to be that guy. Yeah, I... Hey, Brady, welcome in, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> Human is the perfect battery. Minus just a regular fucking battery. You're using the heat from a human? That's like the worst energy conversion you could possibly have. You you know you lose energy with the food, right? You, you only get 10% of the energy you feed to something? There's It just cannot be true. It can't be true. Like the animatrix that makes me think robots just use as a battery pack for payback reasons. I like that. See, if they're just like, fuck you, this is what you did to us, we're going to do it back. I can kind of see that. Although I feel like robots wouldn't be like that cold and calculating, you know? 
It'd be more like, we need the most efficient thing because we're robots. We don't care about your feelings. Something like that. I don't know. But yeah, the battery thing makes no sense. <laughs> Fucking no sense. Clipping that? Thank you so much. I need to add a thing to Nightbot for clipping because clipping makes my life a thousand times easier. If you clip stuff that you think is funny, that gives me feedback on what's funny and I can make YouTube shorts out of it, which is perfect. Let me give you a useful battery for like a week as long as you're starving him. Yeah, but venomous dogs, how do you get them to not be starving in the first place? You have to grow a human? You have to grow a human. You get 10% of the energy you put out. That's like using a cow for a battery. That doesn't make any sense. Don't do that. Cows aren't batteries. You know what's a good battery? Lithium. <laughs> the gutter's cloudy. My window is now leaking water inside. That is a level... Why are you in the stream? You need to go take care of that. That seems like a level one emergency, my guy. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do it like this. So we need to create something that's going to hold a bunch of these, actually. So we have the class unlocks, and it has a list of all of these different things. Yeah. Do we want to do a list? We could do a dictionary. Uh, then The dictionary could map to the level, and it checks. No, because we have to check the key. We just loop through every time to see if we've unlocked it. And that way, if there's something that, like... Um, like, if there's a way you can get class XP while you're not in the class, it's not tied to exactly the level. We'll do it this way. Check for unlocks. We'll just check for all the unlocks. Uh, throughout loop, rather than this list. Physics point of view, who would be the worst battery? A kilogram of coal would be a better battery. Yeah, it literally makes no sense. It, it's, it's, the, it's, it's like, just if you know thermodynamics, it doesn't make any sense. Why do we get no damage? What do you mean, why do you get no damage? Eh? You have, is, do you not, are you not hitting things right now? You have damage. We have a ton of damage. Oh my god, calm down, you two. Jesus Christ. Jeez. In the video game? You're, li you're literally doing damage. What are you talking about, dude? Uh, this is going to be class... Not like that. Class unlocks. Um... Uh... Da, 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 da. No, you take... Oh, you get no damage. Um... There's this thing that happens right now that I have a item to change. These things only attack every two seconds. If you kill them fast enough, they they will not have time to actually hit you. But you take damage. Like, clearly you're missing some HP here, right? You, you, you're taking a little bit. Class unlocks. Great. This is going to inherit from resource. Resource. Create. Um, the thing is, like, I want to have somewhere where I tie all this shit together. And I don't have, like, a place to do that yet. Mission Exterminator and Stellaris makes sense. Conquer aliens and drain them of their energy until they starve to death as a means of quickly depopulating a world. See, that would make perfect sense to me. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Also, like, <laughs> what is the server cost of running the Matrix? You know? That's what I want to know. You know? Like, that can't be cheap. That's a big simulation, dude. Why? They're probably wasting half their energy just using humans to run the Matrix. I bet they're not even energy positive on that. Servers take a lot of power, you know? I, I just think that premise is stupid. <laughs> if you suspend your disbelief, human blood is a coolant? Hold on. Hold on. What is the cooling capability of human blood? I am not going to Google that. I was about to. I'm not going to Google that. Are the game freeze because I minimized it? Not. I need to not minimize it. There you go. Not frozen. Sorry, I always forget about that. <laughs> That's a risky Google. <laughs> so we have... Uh, look at the cute little guy. Um, so we have the unlocks now, the class unlocks. It should probably be part of the progression. Yeah, yeah, it should be. Although this only stores the progress. I don't actually think this should be here. Hey, Andy Codes Web, how's it going? Welcome in. Dude, where do I put this? Class unlocks. I need a thing that maps all classes to their progress or to their um, unlocks. Because we have we have this here. I assume blood would be any good, considering it'd be mostly solids. Oh, that's true. It's, I mean, the thing is that it has a lot of metal in it, though, and metal is good for cooling, as long as there's not like electron transfer as part of the cooling. Like metal on its own is really good for cooling, but like if your metal is there's a reason we don't use like <laughs> liquid metal in like 
I mean, some of the solutions used for water cooling has like some metals in it because metal metals heat transfer really, really fast. They're very, very good at it, which is also this weird thing. OK, you know, if you take tinfoil and you put it in the oven, like you wrap something in tinfoil and you put it in the oven and you take it out of the oven, it's like it's like 400 degrees in the oven, right? Everything is cooking in the oven, but you can grab the tinfoil out of the oven and it's cool. It doesn't feel hot. This is one of the craziest things I've ever learned. The reason why tinfoil doesn't feel hot when you take it out of the oven is because the tinfoil itself is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Probably like it's above boiling. So I don't know, like 150 degrees Celsius. I don't know. I'm not good at math. The tinfoil is this temperature, but there's it's so thin that when it heat transfers to your hand, there is not enough heat transfer that you feel any increase in temperature on you. So it is 400 degrees. And when you touch it, it is 400 degrees. The whole thing is 400 degrees. And in the instant you touch it, it transfers all 400 degrees of that energy to your hand. But it's just so thin and there's just not enough stuff there that it doesn't feel hot. Isn't that weird? Isn't that crazy? Poor thermal conduction. It's not. It, it's great thermal conduction. 200, 204 degrees Celsius. Thank you. The fact is, it's perfect thermal conduction. <laughs> uh, there's a material that is composed of 99% air that feels room temperature even while hot. This is that's the, th the same thing as tinfoil. Yeah, it just doesn't have enough like, it doesn't hold enough stuff that when it, the energy it's transferring to you, doesn't doesn't do anything. We don't deserve foil. Foil will never hurt you. That's not true. You put it in the microwave, it'll hurt you. <laughs> Shout out to the day we learned that aluminum foil or that. Aluminum foil is called tin foil on this stream. And I was about to have an aneurysm. Yeah, do you know aluminum foil? Is tin? The fuck you mean by that? All right, export var. This is the list of class unlocks. And then in the list, we're going to need whatever this object is. This is going to be an unlock. This is an unlock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Foil and air fryers? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, tin foil in the UK. Being lied to. I go before I didn't realize that after it's done, nothing bad happened. You can get away with it as long as it's not like a lot. Or it depends on if it's tin or aluminum, no? Hang on, I'm looking this up now. I'm curious. Tin foil mic microwave. One of them is fine. One of them isn't. Is a oh, aluminum foil is the one that explodes, but people use tin and aluminum foil interchangeably. Uh, can't put tin. Anything in tin foil is especially dangerous. Oh, it's because it's folded? Micro does not get absorbed by tinfoil and will only reflect it so you end up with a lot of energy in a microwave trapped without anything absorbing it. You should not do it in a microwave. It can handle being turned on without anything in the microwave. It will be slightly absorbed by the air and the paint and water vapor. Tinfoil may crease up in such a way that it traps the microwaves in a small area. Wait, what? It has nothing to do with the properties of the tinfoil. It has everything to do with the fact it's just trapping the energy. What? I thought it was like some chemical thing with like losing electrons or something. It's just because it reflects it a lot. What the hell? Let's call it aluminum cans that hold food, tin cans. It's all fucked. There's, and we can't, we'll never recover. I'm sorry. It is what it is. This is the world we live in. It's the worst. <laughs> Let me get a script. We'll call this an unlock. This is just a general category for all unlocks. So we can do, uh, this is an unlock. Having a file script name be the same as a built-in type is usually not desired. This is a built-in? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> that's not That's not right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Can a matchbox? Can a shrimp fry rice? This is going to be class name. This is an unlock. Extends resource. So we're going to have at export var level. This is the level you unlock the thing at. That's going to be int. Export var a uh, category uh, this is going to be a string and then the export var unlock uh the id so uh whatever <gasps> hello Lux. hey hey everyone i'm having a moment do you guys see this person they're the coolest go follow them on twitch they don't stream on twitch they, follow, they are on youtube i'm a big fanboy holy shit hello welcome in <laughs> lux how's it going if I had a dollar for every blonde drumming rhythm game playing VTuber right now, I'd have two dollars. It's not a lot, but it's insane. It's happened twice. How's it going? Welcome in. Get a toilet roll. 
I feel like technically, yeah. Dude, I have a horror story about that. Um, okay, so climbing gyms, as like a joke, well, sometimes on April's fo April Fools or something, they'll put up like, like funny climbing walls, right? And one of them did, hang on. This, please, please just let this be a normal Google search. Ah, okay. Some a, a gym put up on their wall like a like a, yeah. It was. I'm not gonna continue this. It was, it was pretty gruesome, but <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not, big fanboy, what did I do? You streamed on YouTube. I, I sub. I follow you on YouTube and Twitter. You're rid of rhythm games. You play Project Sekai. It's great. Uh, when I try to make my game better by making making better and longer animations, now I have to import that into my game. Help me, Finn. How are you doing your your imports? Because it sounds like they take a lot of time, and I, I feel like they shouldn't take that long. Like. You were doing the other one the other day where you're doing frame by frame or something? I feel like, ow, there's a better way to go about that. Hey, Virtual Agent, welcome in, buddy. How's it going? How are you? How are you? Dude, what do I set this... What do I set this ID to be? Because this has a category of whatever we're doing. So, like, basic attack, charge attack, passive. This is the ID of the... Of the... The thing? The, I want to use the word variant, but that's such a terrible word. The... The... The thing. It's the thing you get. It's the unlock. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> unlock, I guess. Uh, this will be an end because it'll be an idea. Uh, thank you. So you're a fellow Voltex enjoyer. enjoyer. How's that treating you? I don't want to lie. Sound Voltex may have been the reason I moved to Japan. All right. We're all cool with that. We're all cool with that. Don't tell anyone. That's embarrassing. <laughs> and Goto crashed. I love 4.2 so much. Did anyone ever mention... How great 4.2 is. Do you see this in the bottom right? You can't see it because I'm in the way. Hang on. Nope, that's not me. I need to move me. Hey, do you see in the bottom left corner? I'm gonna put my eyes right next to it. Do you see the words right here? It says 4.2.1. Stable. I don't agree with this. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I don't know where I was. There, that's close enough. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't feel very stable to me, 4.2.1. God, I hate this version. <laughs> I was valid, I get it. Dude, bot is dead? Oh, bot is dead. You're right. I gotta rerun the bot. My bad, my bad. Zoop. Um, yeah, stable my ass. Exactly, dude. It's the worst. But yeah, no, I'm playing a metric ton of Voltex right now. I'm trying to get to Imperial by... I'm trying to get to two... I'm trying to get to Imperial 2 by September. And you know why. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anymore because I can I can talk about Voltex when no one understands what I'm saying. But if someone knows about Voltex and potentially KAC, then they'll know that the things that I am doing are not physically possible to happen by humans in the time frame that I have, but I'm going to try my hardest. I think 4.1 was more stable. 4.1 kicked ass. 4.1 was the best. Now we're at 4.2. Do you see this? Garbage. Zero out of 10. If you save any file, the game crashes, dude. It's so... Ugh. 4.2 didn't work at all on Macs for months. True, yeah. I was helping out TX playing with their game on my Mac, and if they imported the files, it crashed their game. <laughs> Which... Okay, to explain why that's so funny, TXPeng sent me their files. I helped them tweak two things. All I did was I edited two like gameplay files, like strictly game files. It was literally, most of it was, was commented out. Uh, so the only things I actually changed were like adding commented out things to TXPeng's files. He re-imported the files. Again, no code changes had happened and the entire game broke. It was hilarious. 4.2, I, I, I use 4.1 on Mac right now. I'm gonna have to 4.1 is the best. Yeah, yeah, stay, stay. Don't go to 4.2. Apparently 4.3 is coming out soon and it'll fix a bunch of this stuff. And Arrow X, I have it on good authority that it adds a bunch of cool stuff, but I don't know when it's gonna come out. <sighs> Feel a bit wild on Volf on Volforest, Crimson 2, and now I'm stuck. Crimson 2 is okay. Yeah, Crimson 2 is hard as fuck, dude. Um, I'm not even... No, I am Crimson 2. I'm 19.31 right now. Yeah, 19.31. The, th the thing about, like... Dude, okay. We're going to talk about Sound Voltex now because someone mentioned Sound Voltex. My life is over. Here's the thing about uh, about Sound Voltex is for certain breakpoints... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with an example. So 18.0 to 19.0. This is called Eldora, I think. I think it's Eldora. And this is Crimson. And these are like the ranks in Sound Voltex, right? So you, if you're at 18.0, you're at Crimson. If you're at 19, or if you're 18.0, you're Eldora. You're Eldora until you get to 9.0, then you're Crimson, right? 
Okay. The way that these grades work is, generally speaking, it's an S rank of this thing minus one. About. It doesn't always work exactly like that, but it's about there. So, <laughs> leave me, I'm not responding to that. Uh, so, like, here, for, to get to 19, you need 50, 18 S ranks, I think. Is it 15, 18? Yeah, yeah. 15, 18 S ranks, like this, right? Wait, mod just followed. Lumi and Paired have found a way to break the follower thing. Yeah. The nice thing about 50, 18 S ranks is that in the 18s folder, there's about 650 songs. So if your average score, like if you if you look at your distribution of average scores, I hate all of you. Um, if this is your average and like this is an S rank, because there's so many songs here, your distribution can be like average score 975, which is like a triple A, not an S. And it will, I literally hate all of you right now. <laughs> hey, Darkwood, welcome in, buddy. Because there's so many of them, your average score can be like a 975 and you will get to the 50 ranks that you need to go to 19. The thing about going from 19 to 20 is that in the 19s folder, so again, to go to 20, if you take this minus one, that's how many S ranks, or that's the S rank that you need. So you need to get 50 S ranks on, nine, on 19s. But the thing is, there's only like 100 songs. So you're, if this is the max score in the game, your distribution actually has to look like this. Which is why people get so, so walled out by the 19 like S wall. It's why it's why people think that it exists. It doesn't technically exist. It's the same thing about shifting your distribution. But in this case, there's actually less room for you to like have the runoff from your average score into the side of the distribution where your scores will be over the S rank. So how do you fix this? You have two options. One, you can grant 18 pucks, which fucking sucks. Don't do this. This is awful. This is not a good strategy. Or two, you have to get unreasonably consistent with 19s because you can't do the thing where you just push your top 50 into 19s because I think there's 120 19s total about. That means you have to S rank approximately half of the 15s. So you have to get about about half of the 19s. Half, sorry, you have to get half of the 19s to an S rank to get to, to uh, Imperial, which means your 19 score is like your average has to be like, I don't know, like 980 or something, which is absurd. This is sound voltex math. I think about this a lot. <laughs> the reason why is I, so when I got to Japan on September 26th, theory is crazy. Here's, but here's the thing. I got to Japan on September 26th and I was Volforce 16 when I got here. Actually, I was like 15.8. I think it was 15.8 when I arrived. 15.8. And in the time of September 26th to now, I've gotten to 19.3, which is super fucking quick. Uh, and I want to get to Imperial by either the end of this month or the next month. Uh, and I think I can. I think I can, I can, I, I feel like I can get to 19.8 this month pretty easily. But yeah, this is my sound voltage theory. Hello. You should see the spreadsheets. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough about sound voltage. Let's make video games. Fritoware. Hey, buddy. Thanks for the raid. Thank you so much. How did your rest of your stream go, man? How are you? How are you? It's good to see you. Probably marry an anthro sound voltage cabinet. It's true. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to say something. I'm gonna say something. It's not gonna leave the stream, okay? Okay, we're all gonna keep it here. It's not. We're not gonna leak this information. Ray the One Viewer is crazy. It was two, and also it's a thought that counts. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the size. I'm just glad you're here. Okay. You're just announcing your. If it's just one person, you're announcing your arrival. Please draw it. Absolutely not. Listen. Listen. No, I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna put. I'm going to put pieces of information out into the world, and you can do whatever you want with that information. Okay. Okay. We all ready for this? We ready? You make your own connections. The, co the the characters that sound Voltex are very cute. Lots of people cosplay in Japan. I'm not gonna say any more information, okay? You can draw your own conclusions with that. I'm just saying, like two years from now, don't be that surprised. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Hey, Payom, welcome back. Cool, Bregano, what's up? Not much, man, what's up with you, Payom? There's nothing to clip, there's nothing to clip. It's just information, it's just information. I'm gonna touch on the game to give each player a different color and then show their damage to the character in that color. Andy, we're gonna have it so that way the, there's like classes will give you variety in your characters. Um, so like we're gonna, I'm gonna add classes eventually. I need to do this unlock thing first, but there'll, there'll be a way for more of like this information to, to be disseminated. Yeah. 300 IQ strats. <laughs> I was being made fun of. I was being made fun of the, for this the other day because we were talking about like 
Okay. Look. Okay. So, so the person I dated last was a person with an art major who cosplayed. And the person I dated before that was a person who was an art major that cosplayed. And the person before that was a person who was an art major that cosplayed. And the person before that, what? I have a type, okay? Okay? That's what it- Look. <laughs> this typo and create character command message after you previously joined the game. It says, has previously joined the game. Previously is typed wrong. That's a shame. <laughs> I have a type. There's no way of no. Probably a fluke. I agree with you, Lux. Things just. I'm a mathematician, right? There's just the odds of this lining up four times. It's not that unreasonable, right? So it has to happen to some. It's. A, we're not talking like dream odds, okay? Okay. 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 It's made a pull request on GitHub for the first time on another project. I think. I don't know how it works. Me and my homies hate GitHub. That's just so unintuitive. <laughs> I agree, Fun Zone. Fun Zone, you understand me so hard. Funzone and I are on the same page of this, but because okay, if you push code to GitHub, you push. It's from your, it's from your perspective, right? Right. So what do you think a poll should do? You know how people say, push, and pull. I'll focus in just a sec, Finn. I promise. People say push and pull, right? That's like a that's like a dichotomy. Like oh, I really love this girl, but we're so push and pull, you know? You know? GitHub, push, is from your perspective. Pull is from GitHub's perspective. I hate that shit. I hate that. It's the, d oh my God, it bothers me so out. So, so goddamn much. Because like, they both, they're both in the same direct, they're, the, they're opposite words. Why do they go in the same direction? It's fine, it's fine. I'm not that mad about it. I'll go focus now. I'm not, I can't, I'm not that, it's not that big of a deal, okay? Not being so salty about it. Jeez. All right, focusing for three minutes. I'm now in chat jail. I can't respond to any of you until I focus for three minutes. I'm so sorry. Too much yapping. Okay, so we're gonna go to the unlocks here. So we have level category unlock. The unlock is going to be the ID of the thing based on the category that you provide here. Let's start making some of these things. So we're going to go to, there's gonna be so many of these. No, there isn't because we can just create them dynamically in the class. Okay, so we go to, the class unlocks here. We go to class unlocks here. We're gonna make a new one of these for each of the different classes. So we're gonna go to here. We're gonna create a folder. And this will be class unlocks. Okay, so we have this here. We're gonna create a new one. We're gonna create a da 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 a a. We're gonna create a um, a resource. This is gonna be a class unlock. Where is it? I didn't name the class. God damn it. Class unlocks here. Oh, we haven't finished implementing this either. So this will be the unlocks unlocks and it'll be an array of unlock yeah and this will be class name class unlocks and the nice thing about this is we can reuse this unlock for like passive skills as well so that can work very well for us cool okay so we go to the class unlocks here create new we're gonna go resource now we have the class unlocks it should be plural it should be plural hang on Boop. Class unlocks, create new resource, resource, class unlocks, class unlocks. Yeah, here. Uh, we're going to call it the night, night class unlocks. I didn't even touch anything this time. God, I hate a point two. I just made a thing. I. Huh. When does 4.3 come out? <laughs> Go to 4.3 release date. Please be soon. Early 2024, that's now. <laughs> God damn it. Please, dude, I'm dying. Are you allowed to go up a version? Download to 4.1? I'm, I'm tempted. Can we go to like unstable version? April 2024, that's literally right now. Ugh. How hard would it be to downgrade, actually? Um. Uh. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm actually tempted. 4.3 dev version? That actually might be the ticket, dude. Hold up. 4.3 dev version. Sorry, my focus timer is all out of whack now. I'm just, I'm getting salty about the game not being able to make changes while I'm making the game. How do you do how do you do a dev version? Can you can you do like uh upgrade my project to use a new engine? When will uh da -da -da -da. 
Is there like a 4.2 patch for this? It's so annoying, dude. Or is it 4.2.1 is the is the latest? How do I check for uh editor maybe? Help about? How do I? Yeah, what is this? There, I don't know how it is. When can, since when can you clip streams on YouTube? You can clip streams on YouTube. I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> watch the video you sent. I'll add it to my list of things to watch, but I don't want to pull up random videos on here. No. What is this? Because you're abridged. Ah, goaded show. All right. Well, my focus thing got ruined by the fact that Goto decided to have an aneurysm. But I think, um, uh, I don't know, dude. I'll just I'll just finish making this, and then I'll rerun the game. I'm sorry. Or there's Master Branch, there is no 4.3 release branch yet. Fuck. Damn it. How hard would it be to downgrade to 4.1? Because I really don't want to have to reload the game. I have to reload the bot and like you guys get your progress interrupted. Downgrade Goto to 4.1. Is this like a thing? Is this a, is how hard is this? Create a new project in 4.1. Quit Goto. Edit the projects. No, I don't want to do that. Dude, is this, is this a simple thing to do? I want to see if I can, like, just switch back down. Restart and upgrade? No. Do you just edit the project settings to say 4.1? And then see if it explodes? I can do that. Are we using any plugins that would crash? No, we're not, because we're not using any of the, the other plugins we're using. 4.3 here? <laughs> I... I really love the idea of being so frustrated with 4.2 that you build the new unstable version. I mean... I mean... Go to 4... Wait, go to 4.3-dev3win64.exe.zip I don't know about that one there, guy. Uh, let me... Yeah, let me just extract this LimeWire file real quick. <laughs> I'm sure this isn't a virus, it's fine. <laughs> oh, my GPU's picking up and it keeps saying something about a Bitcoin? Confusing. This is just 4.3 then, yeah? Just runs 4.3? I mean... I mean... This is a really bad idea, no? It's actually a newer version? Let's Yeah, let's use the newer unstable version. <laughs> oh god. Uh, it's okay. You know, you know, nobody else never actually used Goto. I really appreciate that you're the one providing me these files then. GotoEngine.org, I mean, that's, that is Goto. All right, we're gonna try it. We'll try it. Yeah, he's a more unstable version. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But did you watch Sky's stream? Did you watch the stream before? Because it get bored except for Sky. <gasps> what a high compliment. Hey, but you know, hey, Pyom, you know who you should watch? You know who else is a very entertaining streamer? Hold up. I can't shout out from Twitch to YouTube, but give me give me one moment. Where are you? You you know what's coming. Shift end. Oh, don't go like that, bruh, bruh, dude. Wait, I can't find your YouTube account. Eh? Oh, it's because I'm dyslexic. Your last name isn't Reasons? It's Rezonas? The whole time? Here you go, here's a good streamer. Boop, both chats. Hold up. Not to stalk your page more. Did you know that word isn't Reasons? And never has been? That's insane to me. You changed it just now to fool me? Thank God. Oh, it's the same in Twitch. This is a Fernance moment. For those of you that don't know, about three weeks ago, so I'm a dyslexic idiot baby, and about three weeks ago, we, uh, we lost three hours of work, three hours of our time, because I was incapable of spelling the word furnace correctly for the full three hours. I spelled it Fernance. Fernances, Ferranci, anything you could possibly imagine except for the goddamn word furnace. So, now we're having another one of those. That's great. I'm having a good time. There you go. Did you know it's furnace? Furnace. Reasons. Oh, look at that. Rezonus. The whole time. It's crazy. It's crazy. In my defense, put re put furnace in like a spelling bee or something. It's impossible. You know, Sky fans, Sky is coding his new game. It needs your help. He can only get this done with your credit card number and the three digit security code on the back. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Can I... Game Dev VTuber? Heck yeah, bug them. Welcome in. Can I... Can I tell you guys about something that's like... Kind of... Kind of personal? And I... 
It's gonna sound like I'm asking for money, but I'm not. Maybe it won't. Okay. The way that doing this job and living in Japan, please don't even just not even open, that'd be hilarious. We're in 4.3 now. Can the game work? Yeah, yeah, you just use any network you want, I don't care. Please just tell me the game just works. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh yeah, why is it spelled like that? It's just a little stupid. I agree. You should be you should be able to spell it Fernance. Or however you want. We should have more than one spell. It's it's ridiculous. Fernance emote win. God damn it. Okay, so the game is working. The game is working. Thank you for the shout out, by the way. Thank you for being cool and streaming. I love your streams. Uh what was I saying? Oh yeah. Okay. Here's ow. Here's the funny thing. Okay. In Japan, if you have a side hustle or like a project that you do, you are allowed to report to the government this much no not this. Oh my two hundred thousand dollars? Dude, we'd be fucking set. Two hundred thousand yen. You are allowed to just if you just make two thousand yen, two hundred thousand yen throughout the year, you don't have to submit any paperwork on it. You can just say, Hey, this is just extra income. Don't have to specify. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's just money from nowhere. It's fine. It's fine. I had planned that if I streamed for the full year, that we would get like maybe close to this and I'd need to do paperwork, right? We are about to hit this number, which is a problem because I haven't planned for it at all. And there's a lot of paperwork that I need to do, including informing my school about it. And they asked me today if I had a part-time job and I said no, because I panicked, which is a lie. <laughs> Once we cross this number, I need to like go to the civic the, the civic hall immediately and be like, hey, uh, I'm a dumb idiot and I have had a part-time job for the last X amount of whatever. So no one give me any more money. Cool. Because I don't want to do paperwork. Game is working. All right. Now for the real test though. Can I hit enter and click save and does the game crash? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. I never knew. Look at this. I can save as many times as I want. The game doesn't crash. That's the solution. Hey. Per so good. I'm sure there's a bunch of other weird ass shit that's going to happen. You see where it says you can't see, but in the bottom, we're missing a word. It doesn't say stable anymore. It says dev. But that's what I do. I'm a dev. So why would I not want it on? I'm not building a stable. I'm de I'm not stabling. I'm developing. It makes more sense to be on the dev branch. That's the fun part. Yeah. Uh, you shouldn't need to remake your character, no. Push it before, above 200,000 before just the paperwork. I, that could be a bad thing. <laughs> but I want to support you. I won't actually get in trouble um, so long as I do my paperwork correctly and do it fast. But if we do get over that line and I like wait a month, I could get deported. <laughs> do the paperwork first. I need to do the paperwork. I really need to do the paperwork. Yeah, it's 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 a problem. I'll be honest. I'm not good at executive function, but you know what I am good at? Making games. Welcome to the stream, everybody. All right, we're gonna go to the unlock here. So we have the class unlocks here. Debugger, what happened? Connect to player, attack signal, signal attack is already connected to given callable. Is someone in the room? To Did someone join my game twice? That's the wrong button. Is someone in my game twice? No, it's only one, okay. Smooth transition, thank you, thank you. I do my best. Did tax evasion? It's not tax evasion until the end of the year. <laughs> then, yeah, it would become tax evasion, yes. <laughs> right now, we're okay. We're, we're okay right now. Paperwork stream. <laughs> Just leak my, like, address, my social security, my, like, my Japanese social security, my number card or something. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea to me. Why not? Why not? Oh, so smooth the deportation process. <laughs> yeah, time to see how fast the Japanese government really works, you know? All right, so we can go here. Why can't I click on what is what? You name this? You go to this? Why can't I click on this? Oh, there we go. Oh, cool, we have it. Okay. We're gonna add an element here. We're gonna say new. Why does the unlock have a little symbol next to it? That's cool. Alright, level. At level five of being a knight. Uh well drunk by the way, make the stream much. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. But I am excited for the next community day thing. So if we get to 175 subs because I'm a greedy asshole and I just want all your money. Finally, some honesty around here. Um, if we get to 175 subs, we're going to do another drink, drinky stream and play a bunch of community games like Uno. And I'll probably collab with some people. We'll, we'll plan it out a lot better this time. 
because one, I'll have more time before we get there, and two, I want to make it more of like a everyone join have fun type deal. So maybe like Nano wants to play RimWorld for a bit. Maybe we play like a bunch of different games or something, like a longer, like a six hour stream or something. That sounds very fun. So that'll be more of an occasion because last time it just devolved into me playing chess while playing Civ while playing Factorio, playing Satisfactory. And like, I can't do that again. That hurt my brain. Okay. So we go here, we say at level five, you unlock a basic attack. And the unlock is the ID of the basic attack. So if I go to here, this one is the one I want to unlock. This is ID two. So I can go back to here and I say the unlock that you have is two. Perfect. Perfect. Not sure why when I die, it instantly gets a respawn. Really? You might have just timed it well. Okay, let me go to the Discord. The way respawning works is every two minutes, it didn't make you wait two minutes. Yeah, this message is slightly misleading because the way it works is two minutes is the maximum waiting time. Um, it responds to everyone in a wave every two minutes. So if there's like three people dead, it will respond all three of you at the same time at the end of the two minute timer. So this, this message actually needs to be edited to be a little bit better about that. Yeah, it's a tick event. Yeah, that's why it's like... We haven't. We didn't fully decide how we wanted to do it. We switched from it being an individual timer to being on in waves. I did add credits while not adding credits. There's no ending to my game, and I don't want to add credits button, so I'll be okay with having a splash screen that has credits. Uh, splash screen is fine. I think also just usually like, if you need credits for like legal reasons, like you're using a uh, license and you have something that you literally like you need to credit, you can like on your main splash screen where you have like play or whatever, having a button that just says credits here or uh, attributions or something, you can click this. Oh, you don't want to add a credits button. Oh, I'm so dumb. I did not. <laughs> hey, how do I do it without a button? Well, the first thing you do is add a button. No, if you want to do it that way, you just need it anywhere in your game. So like for, for uh, like MIT license, or not MIT license, for like, was it BCC license? Anything that requires attribution. As long as it's anywhere, you're okay. As long as it's anywhere that you can um, like reasonably see, right? So you can even put it, like, if you have an itch page, I'm pretty sure you can even just put it on the itch page and you don't actually need to put it in your game either. Um, you just need it somewhere. As long as you can point it and say, hey, I credited you. That's all. Like, ours is in our GitHub readme right now. That's good enough. Good enough. Okay, so at level, f at night level five, you unlock the ID of the basic attack for the night level two. The basic attack for the night, for all of these curious, is it starts to scale, your attack starts to scale off your defense. So you get 0.8 of your power as their damage times point one of your defense. Now, we need to check to actually see if you unlock this stuff. So, dude, I can't believe you can just save the game and it doesn't crash. Watch this. Such a lovely, such a nice thing. I can't believe it. I can't believe the game doesn't just explode when I save the game. This is the best day of my life. I'm, I'm, I, it, it can't get better than this. Okay, so we can go to the player character here. We can say, um, it's gonna be on class level level up class on here we already have this built hell yeah dude multiplayer factorio that's a really good idea that would be hold up actually dude i think that's like the perfect idea we could have that in the background while we do the other games too so like we can have like one big community server running for the whole day and then um, we can play a bunch of other games. Also, also, the Minecraft server, Neb is like putting it up. It's so exciting. I'm so, we have the server, it's bought. We've configured the DNS, we configured the firewall. Neb is installing the plugins right now. I'm so excited for the Minecraft server, dude. So excited. Oh my god. By the way, it's gonna be like a tight server. It's not just vanilla anymore. We don't even have a creative dimension. Neb was talking about adding a creative dimension where you can just go in and build a bunch of random stuff. Uh, and then, like, you just, you just don't have it in the survival world, so there'll be, like, two different realms you can swap between. What sort of class stuff does the ranger get? Right now, Andy, I think the ranger's initial, like, attack scales on your decks. Because rangers want to be able to attack really fast. That's kind of what their character does. So I think it's going to be, like, 0.6 power and then 0.2 decks or something like that. And it, there's it's a little bit of a tricky thing because... Like, scaling off defense isn't that bad of, a, of an idea because even if it's a small scale, defense and the amount of damage you do aren't double dipping on a stat, right? I mean, they are a little bit, but you can, like, adjust down the speed. The problem with scaling with your attack with decks is it's triple dipping because if you get power from your decks and you attack faster with your decks, 
then the multiplier on your decks is like applying itself over more than one application. Because like, okay, let's say you have 50 decks and it halves your attack speed and also your attack skills with decks. Every point of decks you get from now is going to both reduce your attack speed and increase your damage. So you're getting like a combination of both of those things, which is not good. So I need to think about a way, yeah. Let's hope for as rangers, they're kind of like rogues and assassins. That's my idea too, yeah. Like I was thinking like D&D-ish, ranger, rogue kind of hybridization. Hey Chaffee, how's it going? Chaffee, Cha Chaffee, Chaffee, Jesus Christ. Does guy have a YouTube mod? So empty here. Uh, Chaz is a mod on YouTube, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to scale your attack speed. I just haven't figured out the math on it yet because, like, that one's on such a knife's edge. If you scale it too much, then they're just going to hit, like, every second and just never touch. Like, you, you don't have to use any, anything else. You're just pure class cannon. We have Twilight Forest or Aether. Or are we all on following? Oh, Twilight Forest. Oh, for oh, the Minecraft mods. I see, I see. It's going to be vanilla. I think my idea for, or what Neb was saying is, it is a vanilla server for now, but maybe we'll add like mods to it later. We got a beefy server, so we can add mods. There's going to be like a center like town area that's protected and you can claim plots in the town to build like your community house and like a trading center and a spawn and all this stuff. And then there's spots that, will, there's like teleporters in the town that if you step on them, will take you way out away from town into the wilderness. The wildy, uh, where you can actually like build your mines and bases and stuff, stuff like that. So there'll be like a central area for us all to hang out and do trades and stuff like that. And like you can't blow up other people's houses out here. Like it's not like an anarchy server or anything like that. But if you need to go out into the wilderness, then you can like go teleport far away from here into the wilderness like that. Uh, I'm Wii Sports PC port like Sonic 3 Air, dude. Hell yeah, I love Wii Sports. Game was a banger, and then Wii Sports Resort came out. Oh my. God, what a great game. What a great game. Guys, to your, to your server for extra crossplay? Does Geyser allow crossplay? What? I've never heard of that. Chaz is here, sad. Chaz is here, don't worry. Chaz is on the Twitch side of things. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so we say here, level up class. We're going to do this. We're going to say, let's go to a 3D engine or a 2D engine. It is both. You can use it for either one. We're using it for 2D. I like it a lot for 2D. I've never used 3D, but we have a lot of people in here that code uh for 3d and it's they have a great time with it so yeah it can do both very well if you're like just doing 3d the only 3d i've ever done is in unity and it was very good um but goto also is good i just don't specifically know the the like uses of it for 3d but it's better for 2d i believe i mean it's better than unity for sure because it's actually real as i'm is java and bedrock crossplay what what you can do that my voice, I'm losing my voice because I've streamed so many days in a row. Geyser, Minecraft, Frostplay. No way. How does it. What? I just read that of Minecraft Bedrock clients to join Java Edition servers? That's a thing? I figured they were so different that they could literally not do this. That's insane. I'll hit up our genius admin neb. Fabric is the better version. Interesting. For those of you who don't know, in the Discord, so if you want to play the game that's on screen right now, you can join the Discord to create a character and join the game. And in the Discord, this man here, Neb, Neb Space Fair, the Discord admin, is the genius, most genius man I've ever met in my life. I've actually never met him. Most genius ethereal Discord user that I've ever met in my life. They're setting up all this stuff, so I will ping them about that. What's up? Hey, Oddly, welcome in, buddy. How's it going? How's Zop? I need to know how Zop is. I miss Zop every day of my life. <laughs> okay. So on this level up, we're going to check if we've unlocked anything. <clears throat> we're going to say... <sighs> How do I do this? Check level ups? Character stats, active character class? Dude! What happens if you level up a class? Wait. What happens if you don't have a class set and you, class and you level up? Award XP? Oh, it's only if you have an active class. I've already safeguarded myself. Oh my god. Skygrave from the past, you're such a genius. Zop's living his best life every day, man. As soon as you draw anything more of Zop, I want to see it immediately. I want it on my screen. I want it to be my, like, desktop background. I want it to be my mouse cursor. Wait, have you guys seen it? Hold up. <laughs> Cinnamon roll desktop cursor. Have you seen this? I need to get this right now. Dude. Dude, you can have cinnamon roll as your mouse cursor. Look at this. Look, this could have been me. This could be me, dude, but it isn't. 
I'm not living my best life. I don't know how to get these. <gasps> it's him on a skateboard? Dude, hold up. There's something I need to know right now. No. No. <laughs> no, there's no... Add, yes. Download whatever virus, whatever bitcoins you need to mine to get onto my computer. I need this right now. Add. JavaScript void zero. I hate you. Did you know that? Give me the thing. This is the worst. This is the worst. What the fuck? Give it to me right now. <sighs> Stream's over, guys. I'm having the worst day of my life. <laughs> Hello, new viewer here. Hey, Mitchell. Welcome in. How did you find the stream? I'm curious. But hey, welcome, welcome. Uh, okay. So, I've done Scratch and Roblox. Oh, dude, hell yeah. I love Roblox. So, you know, I haven't really coded many games. Anyways, I hope you have a nice night or day or whatever. Hey, you too, man. No, like, getting your start in Roblox and Scratch is awesome. It's awesome, dude. That's... You're making games. Hell yeah. Uh, Lethal Company Guy was started in Roblox, so... It's... Yeah, make games in Roblox, dude. Hell yeah. Of course, as a decomps, we could feasibly run native on PC. Or those would be emulated. Maybe not Sports Resort if it shares code. Look, all I want to do is play Re Sports Resort on my desktop PC in the year of our Lord 2024. Give it to me, give it to me right now, correct. <laughs> There's going to be two things I'm known for. Give it to me right now, and computers are fast. I have to jump in the stream? Okay, bye, I gotta go. I have to jump in for me. What? Alright, take it easy, buddy. <laughs> Later, Pyom. My fellow Toho enjoyer. Check, let's do check class level ups. So check class level ups. How the f how do we do this though? We put it on the class progression. It's not a static reference, which would really suck. Um, yeah, that would be awful because then everything would have a copy of this thing. If we put it on the character, uh, no, the char then it's still not a static. Is there a way to make a resource? Is it time for the auto load? It's time for the auto load, dude. All right, because I want to have one reference for this auto load. Go to it's time. It's time to learn arcane wizardry. I think it's coded on Luda, which is normally coded. Yeah, Roblox is Luda. We might do a Roblox game jam soon. Jam, jam. Get you. There's there's a ten thousand dollar one. I forgot about that. Not doing this one, but I would love to do a game jam in Roblox. Roblox game jam. Build a Roblox game in one day? The oh, fuck? March 6, 2023. Well, we're a little late. Uh, Geo Game Jams. How do you get your Roblox game out of Roblox? I think it only runs in Roblox. So, like, the Lethal Company guy didn't make Lethal Company in Roblox. He made it in a different game engine, I think. Uh, but if you make a game in Roblox, it's for Roblox. Yeah. Have a good night, everyone. Take it easy, Venomous Dogs. Tell the bees I say hello. One day, Roblox Game Jam seems intense. One day for a game jam is ridiculous to me. Hey, OP Chair as well. That's some different stuff about IDE than I just saw this. Makes me interested. We're programming manager using Godot. We are using GDScript. It looks and runs a lot like Python. So if you know Python well, GDScript is very easy to pick up. I think it's intentionally very Pythonic. It's even like snake case and stuff. But awesome, man. I'm glad you clicked. Thanks for being here. Do you guys want to see some spoilers? So my YouTube thumbnail is a little low effort. Hang on, let me see if I have the new one. I'm going to show you the new one. I'm very excited about the new one. Oh, it's been delivered. It was delivered like an hour ago. Oh, well, hang on. All right. All right. I need your guys' professional opinion on this. Okay? Okay? It's watermarked right now, so I need to I need to download this thing. But what do you think? This is me now. This is your boy. This is your boy on YouTube. Thoughts? Opinions? Comments, even? That's Lua? Uh, Lua's for Roblox. Th this is GDScript. The stuff we're using in Godot. Here, I can... uh. GD scripts. Let me send you the docs. Looks like bait. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't want to say it is. That's the intention, but. And look, I used all. Of... Wait a second. Do you do you see this? Why are they low res? <gasps> Who is? What is your name again? Fiverr man. Rion XP. Did you not use import linear? Did you import mipmap? Oh no! You imported mipmap. Why did you do this to me? You mipmapper. We can re-import and uh, do bilinear because I can just I can re-import these right on top with the, the transparent things. I'm so sad about this. It's a bitmap. Uh, you bitmapped me. <laughs> you like it? Sweet man. Vtuber bait. That's the idea. Yeah. That's I mean. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it above board. That is the point. I understand it looks fine. 
when you import sprites, so especially pixel art, there's there's something that happens when you import sprites. So like, if this is your pixels, like this is literally the pixels you write in a sprite, right? These are like the five pixels you have. And like this one is white, ow. This one is like pink or whatever, right? There are methods to importing and scaling sprites because this is literally like a three by three image, right? Like this is literally three pixels by three pixels. Let's say you want to scale this up to a hundred by a hundred. Your computer has two, well, it has several options of doing this, but one of the ways it'll do it is by taking chunks of this thing and merging what it looks like it should be near. Um, and so like in this case, most of the, like this, if, if this is our pixel grid, right? Our three by three pixel grid, it will inflate each of these pixels to have three over 100, or sorry, 100 over three influence in the like scaled up version. So it'll set like these, I don't know, 33 pixels to be blank, right? So 33 pixels here are all blank because this one is black. And then it goes to the pink one and it sets 33 to be pink. The problem is this ratio is not always correct because 100 divided by 3 is 33.33. And so you get these like in-between things and it will take 0.3 of the pink pixel and 0.6 of like the black pixel and create something that is in between those two colors. So you get a pixel that's like 50% pink instead. That's why the, the sprites look blurry. There's a way that you can tell your computer to do the importing for the pixel and you say it's linear. Linear means literally do not, don't do any kind of blurring on the margins here. Just round off the, the floating point. So if you have 33 pixels of black and then 34 pixels of pink, just leave it. Don't, 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 imp, don't merge between those two colors. So it's one of just this weird thing that you like happens when you work with pixel art. You have to set it in Godot as well. Add, <laughs> rip. <laughs> I was a game dev streamer yesterday that left after scrolling down and reading, do you want a surprise with certain pictures? Oh, that's okay. That's weird. <laughs> Gross. Okay, so back to our thing. We want to check the class level ups here. Okay, so we need to do the, this is where the auto load is going to come in handy. I wanted to look at Roblox game gems real quick, actually. Can I do... How do I do... Uh jam dashboard no there's a way to do it by just the jam or the engine type right reblox Ro roblox roblox where's roblox daisy's roblox game jam stop it dude a three-day game jam who what fucked up person joins a, a two-day game jam jesus christ and it also just ended well that's gonna make it really hard to join dude <laughs> who does a two-day game jam that's so difficult there's probably another one, no? Is that the only one right now? Weird, okay, I guess that's the only game jam for Roblox right now, but... Roblox game jams are crazy? I know, the first one was one day, this one's two days. So like, oh, we're really pushing it with our two-day game jam today. Christ, man. <laughs> Love for kids over the weekend? Still, I just feel like... That's, that's really short, I don't know. That seems very difficult to me. I have struggled enough, like, we made our, our itchy, our, our, like, wild jams are even... Like, this is a whole week, and then we got to this in a whole week, dude. Can you imagine making trying to make this in two days? It's still really stressful. The weak ones are stressful, dude. This is why my favorite one was the FFS jam, because boy was that the lowest stake lowest stake jam I've ever been, uh, participated in. Also, hey, do these characters look real familiar? I wonder if we reused the sprites or something. <laughs> it's a good week. It's a stressful week. Speaking of, Goto is uh, this Saturday. We're going to start the Goto Wild Gym this Saturday. Very excited. All right, introduction. Goto scene system, while powerful and flexible, has a drawback. There's no method for storing information that is needed by more than one scene. It's possible to adjust some workarounds, but they come with their own limitations. You use a master scene that hold, loads and unloads other necessary other scenes as its children. I can run these scenes eventually. Singleton pattern is tool used for solving common case where you need to store persistent information between scenes. That's not what we're doing. We're not actually doing this do we 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 maybe don't need to do it like this then no can we do um yeah wait we can just we can put the singleton on the player manager and just do this why am i making my life so difficult <laughs> okay i have a story <laughs> it's a short one um so a lot of my friends here don't speak english right or they speak a little bit of english and because of that, there's like phrases in English that are 
Like, the phrasing is simple, but if you say them in the wrong context, they sound super out of pocket. So, like, I was talking with one of my friends today. Uh, she's actually very good at English, but she, we were, like, discussing this thing, and she just looks at me, and she goes, you think too much. And, I, like, we were discussing something, something totally fine, like, oh, what do you want to do for lunch tomorrow? I was like, ah, you know, I don't really know. Yeah, like, do you want to go here or, like, somewhere else? She's like, oh, that could work. That could work. Like, how about this place? And I was like, yeah, that sounds good to me. She just looks at me, and she goes, you think too much. I mean, I mean, you're not wrong, but like, you don't gotta say it like that. I was like, God damn, so out of pocket. That's one of those insults that hurts you more because you know they're right, you know? It's like, it's like, or it's like, you're overthinking. You're like, you just, you're always overthinking everything. Like, I know, I know, I'm trying to change. You think too much. You just, you think too much. That's like going up to someone to be like, you know, you really never finish any of your projects. You tend to just start a new one. You know, that's... Just call me ugly or something. I would prefer you do that. I can get over that one. But that, that hurts. That hurts my heart. Like, <laughs> uh, it gets me, it gets me where I'm weakest. Like, you realize this about me too, huh? All right, this is going to be function, check, last level up. So what this is going to do is, is for an active class, it's going to look at that class's resource and check at what breakpoints you should have unlocked something. Now, this could be a little weird because we, we, level, we always level up one at a time. We always level up one at a time. We can do it by just looking for the exact level match. This is okay. You know you jump ship too often and too soon and don't stick it out until next time? It hurts me so much. It just It's like a knife to the heart. Check class level up. So this is going to be the class name. Can't use class name. I hate this game. Class name. And the level so we need to pass these two things in it will go to the resource and it will go um to like the singleton version of the resource that we can load here go through the entire list and it will go to the if if it's like let's say you're level five it will look through the entire list if there's something that you unlock at exactly level five it'll pass back that thing and say hey you have an unlock it's this thing that you get at exactly level five I'm fascinated your stream appeared on the first row of my recommended on my homepage with no previous related video viewing. Really? I don't know what that means for you or me, but hopefully you get more views. Hopefully you get views. I'm just glad you're here, Aiden. And thank you to the YouTube algorithm for just being like, hey, watch this guy, right? The first row, huh? Oh my God, I feel so special. The first row? God damn. Hey, Hackdog, welcome in, buddy. How's it going? How are you? How are you? Good to see you. So we need to load the resources here. I need to, okay. dude, these need to be in another file. These are getting ridiculous. I need to put this somewhere else. Yeah, most times good interactions going on the YouTube side. I think the stream like click through is, well, it depends. Um, you could have just been in the test audience, Aiden. So yeah. <laughs> being fat, obviously I have to stay. Dude, we made up a whole lore about how I'm secretly a necromancer who is like, reanimated the disembodied hand to pet me it's great i love the look of the little guy go if you're on twitch you can make it end but uh please never do that to me why would you do that i want this thing to pet me until i have a bald spot that's what that's what i'm here for like you can message constant file is there a way i can do it where i can just load the things in though because what i don't want to have to do is like when i'm accessing this do like thing dot message i don't want to have to do that hey radon welcome in buddy <laughs> you get me you know what i mean I guess it's not that big of a deal to do it, but yeah, we need a message constant. We can add up for the thing be like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we make shorts and stuff. Some people have found me through the shorts, but uh, yeah. Good evening. Good evening to you as well, my guy. How you doing? I'm just so happy I can save the game and it doesn't explode. It's so nice. The game is still running, yeah? The game is still running, dude. Look at we're changing things and the game is still running. 4.3 is the best. 4.3 is the best. I'm gonna message Aralax and say that you can move to 4.3. That's probably the constant ability, but I don't know if that's possible in Godot. I think it is. Hang on, let me do this so I can actually save this file. I think you can. Wait. Can you. Hmm. So close to 3,000 lines of code? Where do you see that? My thing? Were we actually almost at 3,000 lines of code? Holy shit. This is 300. I think this is the biggest file, but god damn. Um, I mean, we can just, we should just load the thing. I should be, uh, I should be able to do export. 
I don't know if JSC can do import thing one thing from a file. You can't quite do it like that. I, I know you can't do it like that because Godot is weird. You have to do like auto loads for that. Uh, I think I'll worry about this later. Oh, the game actually properly crashed this time. See, I'm okay with that. If, if it crashes because it's my fault, totally okay with that. Godot good engine start for with game dev? Hell yeah, Hackdog. It's awesome for starting in. Uh, I think it's one of the best. There's a really good... Let me get you the photo make a game game. What is the, what is the, shoot, what's the website I'm trying to think of? It's made in Goto. It's made in Goto. It's a website that teaches you how to make games in Goto. What is it called? Where's Arrowax when you need him? I forget what it's called. Damn it, this is like the best thing to start with. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? You make a game for Goto and it's like in Goto. It's a web page you go to. Fuck. If not, you can do the one that I started with, which is this one here, Hackdog. So, like, when you find it, it's so good. But this one's also good, too. You make, like, a vampire survivor type style game. Yeah. GD Quest! Thank you, Andy Codes. What? GD Quest. GD Quest. Yes. GD Quest. Yes, you guys are the best. Thank you. Check out GD Quest. It is one of the... Let me open it up. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Um... What the fuck is this? Anyways... You, no, what? No, go to the, go to the, no, play, I just want to play the game. Where's the game? Where's, hang on. Where's the actual game? GDQuest.com? What has happened here? What the, f wait, 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 didn't this used to be a site and it just told you how to make games? What? A GDQuest teaches you your game creation with a free and open source game engine, go to, yeah. Free seven day course? What? Am I losing my mind? This used to just be a site. You didn't have to pay for anything. The fuck, dude? Nah, dude, what is this? Looks like they're monetizing things? Oh, this sucks. Man. Well, okay. What I'll say is GD Quest used to be like absolutely awesome, super great, kick ass, amazing. It is possible that it's still really good. You just have to go through a layer of like free stuff. Man, this sucks. When did this this change like recently? Because I I just recommended this to someone like three weeks ago and it was totally fine. Is it the getting started series maybe? Just take me to the. No, surely we're not doing YouTube videos. Okay, well, go to make your first 2D game. All right, it's oh it's over. It's over. The fun's over. Just go to this site. There you go. This one this one's great too. Ah, money, I know. If only everyone was as altruistic as I was, you know. Oh, speaking of, if you don't want ads, you can spend $5 on my channel to be ad free. I just wanted to throw that out there. Completely unrelated to what we were talking about. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, what was that about my altruism? Yes, yes. Yeah, I go to that one, I guess. Did a test on a different account, different device, on a different network that doesn't watch YouTube? Searched up pirate software and your stream was in the recommended in spot 9 on the discovery bar. Algorithm likes me. Aiden, that is, you are the coolest for doing that. And is it just, is it, is it that the algorithm likes me? Or do I just like pirate software's coattails, you know? Uh -uh, gotta figure it out, you know? <laughs> Who really can say for sure? Uh, anyways, sorry, sorry, making making games or whatever. That's that's what we were doing, right? We we're making games. We we're making games in Godot. Budget pirate software. I prefer Wish.com pirate software. Pirate software for when he's not making games and you want to watch someone make games. <laughs> oh man, he's the worst part is like he's more down to earth than I am too. Isn't that hilarious? He gets paid like million dollars, millions of dollars a month to stream on Twitch. GD Quest like GitHub. Oh, there we go, Robo Rip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is the thing I was thinking of. This is the actual GitHub. So this will show you how to make a game in Goto and is a game made in Goto. Here we go. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. This is what I was looking for. It's perfect, dude. Yeah, okay. This is also really good. This has all of the lessons minus the weird paywall. He's like 100 viewer Andy for five, six years being picked up for the algorithm. I'm so happy for him too. Like, I feel like, all right, feel free to quote me when I'm wrong, but but I feel like we're on the dawn of a new age in content creation. We are no longer at big yelling crazy, and we've also left wealth porn. 
I think we might be in the era of wholesome streamers. I think we might have gotten there. Now I don't count me on I, I don't count me on that list, but <laughs> Hey JP, welcome back, bye. And gamer guy. Do you make the ATT? You... I'm not sure what you mean by that. What's ATT? Uh do they make the art? So no. The art, um if you go to my Twitch page, which should be linked in the YouTube description, you, there's a bunch of different credits for the different art that's on the screen right now. Uh most of the stuff that was made for the game we're working on right now was by Rosati who might be here and lurking. They're an incredibly talented artist, and I've loved working with them. TX Pang has also made a bunch of art that also uh, hangs out in chat all the time. Um, and then there's a couple of assets that I bought for different games that we never finished, as is the tradition of my people. We're in the era of good yappers. I I, I want I want it so bad. I, I, I would rather have a, like, a bunch of people who are just supportive and wholesome than, like, than, uh... The, the train left the station. What the hell were we talking about? I understand, uh, kind of understand pirate software. He very rarely does any game dev. I don't think if he's streaming in software and game dev, he's basically just chatting. That's kind of the cool thing about this category, though, is like you can do that because he's still making games and he still is a developer. And a lot of things he talks about is like around game development. Um, and like I yap all the time too. So, meh, meh, ah. <laughs> I don't know. This is just yapping category. When Count You as Wholesome, I read through your wiki. Oh yeah, my wiki's the best. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my wiki before. Here, I'll grab it one more time. I want to pull up the Scar Gear wiki. Yeah. You guys actually, you guys made me my own Wikipedia page, and it's, I think it's the coolest page that's on the internet. I, I'm so grateful for this. I'm so, I'm so happy you guys made this for me. The whole article is just about me, dude. So nice of you. Ah, it's the best. I love my wiki. It's so good. Wholesome vs. High School feeling of streaming? Wait, what do you mean whole school? Wholesome vs. High School? Interesting. Uh, finally linked to VTuber Mama? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, this is my, this is my, I'm just really proud of my baby. Sexual perversion? Huh? What do you mean by that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't off stream most of time? Yeah, I mean, he, like, the thing is, I, he did a lot of dev on stream before he got popular, and like now he mostly, he gets, I mean, he gets donated a lot of money to just help people, like, make, help people guide pe and like helping guide people on making games and being in software development and like and some of it is life advice too but like i think that's a fine thing to be in this category you know what i mean like if i literally sit here every day and the only questions i ever get are like what game engine is good to use is go to a good a game engine like what software are you using what scripts are you using right and i'm helping get other people into making games i think that's a great use of our time here you know what i mean um yeah so i like i don't personally have any issue with that there are I'm not going to name any names. There are people that are definitely catching on to this category being popular and not necessarily like sort of riding it like people ride it, uh, the just chatting category. So I kind of see it. Uh, and like, so I, I, I think he's okay, obviously, but I think there are people that are doing kind of what you're saying. Before his breakthrough, he mainly did Q&A, just showed snippets of code from what he said, only codes off stream. I mean, it's easier to code off stream too. I'll give it up. Like, you're much more focused. I don't like. I got... He's still doing stuff about his game on the stream. I feel, or like he'll be coding stuff in like Minecraft or something. So I'm not too worried about it because um, I think it's like matching the spirit of being a, in a game developer. So yeah, I, I think it's totally fine. But like, people who are 80% face cam, 10% not even code it's just they have like a leak code problem open and they're not working on it they're just yapping like me those are the ones i'm like okay okay stream is just a promotion for his game nothing else in my eyes i mean you can just stream to be like i think that's maybe part of it for him but i, I think the bigger thing is just streaming for the joy of streaming like I i'd be very surprised if like um the reason he was streaming was to promote the game Big yeah for no work streamer. That's me, bro. I mean, the software I'm barely making progress is based though. Yeah, yeah. If like, if you are a developer and you're doing development and like you get sidetracked and you talk to people all the time, I think that's completely fine. But like, if you're clearly in the category because you know, like, if you're playing the algorithm, I don't want you here. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a difference between like the intention behind those two things. But like, how do you know people's intentions? Don't try to like extract people's intentions from what they're streaming. Obviously, like that's a that's a really shitty thing to do. I don't know. Uh, Desoding insane code full project one to two hours. 
Aww. Whoever's doing just mucks around with the stream, makes notes but never codes on a stream, is tagged to software and game development. Yeah. <laughs> who, uh, who, yeah, mm. who would do that? <laughs> Dude, this guy, he just has obsidian open the whole time and he's been working on this checklist for like three weeks and he never gets any closer to the bottom of it. It's so weird. <laughs> he just keeps saying the game works. I don't know, it's so strange. This guy, the app cool if I make you focus for three minutes. That's why the button's there. If I'm yapping too much, you want to see me get some work done. I'll shut up. Need some water though. Dude, my voice is always dead on Monday. I can make it almost the whole week without a break and then when I get to Monday, my voice is like, oh God, please. Hydrate, you got it. I get more progress than you. I don't know if that's true, but uh, I I enjoy like the yapping and I just I'm just having a good time hanging out. It feels like I'm at work, but all of my work like coworkers are cool people. That's that's what it feels like. So I I love doing this, man. I hope I get to do it more. All right, it's time time for the yapping to stop, and I will now focus for three minutes. Goodbye, chat. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so back to what we're working on here. We need to do uh, class ability unlocking. Now, we go here. We're going to pass in the active class because that will give us what we need. Okay, we can just pass in the whole active class. And then we can extract the name and the level that you are now from this. So I'm going to pass this whole thing to the player manager. So in other words, at the bottom of the player manager, we're going to get your active class. Active class. Now, we're going to need two things from this. One, we're going to need the name. So we're going to say var class name. I still can't use that. That's a keyword. Love it. Game crashed. I'm aware. I'm fixing it right now. I'm sorry. Active class dot class name. This should be an active class as a class regression. So now it should give me the, what is it? Character class? Character class name. Var class level equals active class character class level. And now with these two things saved, I can rerun the game and rerun the bot. And you are now allowed to be in the video game again. This little guy is dancing. Let me make sure everything's working. Let me do my join the forest so I can hang out with you guys. Hopefully I don't die. I've joined the forest and there I am. The game is working. Hell yeah. Cool. By the way, if anyone new, you can join this game. If you join the Discord, you can do slash create character to get started. And then you can be in the video game. But keep in mind, we're still working on it. It's going to crash a lot. I'm sorry. Also, you get pinged a fuck ton. Is that's how we coded the game? I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, alright, that's running. So we go to here. We need to build a uh, list of all of the resources that are mapped from the class name. Plus Discord. I'm so sorry it doesn't work in the YouTube chat. If you look in the video description, you can see the Discord, Aiden. If if you feel so inclined. But I know that's a lot of buttons to press, so I don't blame you. If you just wait, you don't have to play the game. You can just watch. I'm just glad you're here. That's what I would say. Um. So here, we need to do an on ready and construct the resources for all of the different class unlocks. So we need var class unlocks, and that's gonna be a dictionary like this. In the ready, we're going to load all basic attacks. We're going to load all class unlocks. Don't save the game, the game will crash. Don't save the game, don't save the game yet. Don't save the game yet. If you hit control S, everyone will die. No errors, save, okay, cool. To do this, what we're going to do is similar to how we built the basic attacks. We're going to open the directory and get everything out of there and load it into the dictionary. So basic attacks path is going to not be this anymore. We're say class unlocks path is res resource saved to so be class unlocks. Come on. Hello? Game. Okay, I'll do it myself. Uh, weird. Copy path. That makes me very concerned that this isn't hooked up correctly. Whatever. Directory, dir access, class unlocks. For directory, list skin, file name. So we're going to say var unlock resource equals load. This is going to be the path here plus the file name. And then instead of basic attack map, this is going to be class unlocks. We go to this. We're going to say unlock resource dot class name. Can't be class name. What do we call it in the resource? You are, you don't have your name. Well, then how do I know who the hell you are? I'm going to go to class unlocks here. I'm going to say export var uh, class name. <laughs> class name. 
I hate that I can't use the keyword, dude. This sucks. Class name like this, I guess. There has to be a different way. Unlock class name. It should be character class name. So it's uh, homogenous with the other unlocked up cuff. I'm gonna do this character class name like this. Uh, attack resource not declared in current scope. Oh, unlock resource like this. Okay, everything should be happy. So I can do save. And I'm gonna go to the resource. Save. And I'm gonna go to this. A game will crash if I don't type this in fast enough. It's night. Night. Okay. Save. Did the game crash? I might have been too slow. Game's still running. Let's go. Sweet, dude. Who's I dot dot dot? You're my favorite. You're my favorite person. I don't know who you are, but I'm glad you're here. I dot dot dot. Cool. Um, man, you guys are strong. Also, I'm free from jail. Hell yeah. I'm on. I'm alive again. Hello, everyone. I've missed you. Okay, so that's how we actually do the mapping for the unlock. Now, we need to do the, or that maps all of the resources on the start of the game. Now we need to be able to scan through and check if you've unlocked anything. Hey, how's the development going? It's going great, that one Twitch fellow. How are you doing today? I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna go to here. We're going to say, um, var the class, the unlock class, the, it should be var class unlock is a class unlock. Class unlocks equals, uh, we need the class on the dictionary. The class unlocks here mapped by class name. And this should really be character class name. Character class name. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna say return because I wanna make sure that this is working. So I need to set my character to be a knight. So I'm gonna say select class, a knight. I'm now a knight, breakpoint. Hell yeah, dude, hell yeah, sweet. The game is now paused, it's not crashed, it's just paused. Okay, so we're gonna see, oops, I need to go one more. Go to here, class unlocks is null, null you say. Oh, cause the game was still running, I need to load this again. Okay, I have to restart the game, one moment, I'm sorry. Uh. Oh, it crashed anyways. There you go. No worries. See? All planned. <laughs> Game is running again. Let me rerun the bot. Rerun the bot. Okay. Now I can go to this. So I'm going to rejoin the game. I'm going to say join the forest. I'm in the forest. Hell yeah, dude. I love being in the forest. Now I need to kill something. Someone help me kill something. Code demo, you're so strong. You're my hero right now. In my darkest hour. The code demo is here to kill things. You guys are the best. Doing good. Also, go to things. How fancy is this, though? I doubt that. This isn't that fancy. But, dude, hell yeah, you're working in Goto. What are you working on? All right. Eventually, I will level up my knight. There we go. Invalid access to property or key priest on based object of type dictionary. Right. There's no priest. <laughs> right. That makes a whole lot of sense. Okay, um, is the is the thing at least working? Which class name? What is the? I need the class unlocks though. What is this? Robert is a priest. Robert, you're so holy, you broke my game. <laughs> it should be the class unlocks here. So it's C C C C class unlocks dictionary says one, and there it is. There's the knight. And the knight has the unlocks, and the unlocks are size one. And it's at level five. You get the level. You get the ID two basic attack, dude. Let's go. Your move. Your only move is hustle. The game I'm making a character for, dude. Wait, is this like an actual game game? Like, can I play it? Oh, it's my Wikipedia page, page again. Your only move is hustle. Ooh. Uh, I feel like I've heard of this. Five dollar game. Oh, this game. This is the fighting game. Yeah, dude. This game's sick. Dude, this game has the most delicious combos. Hold up, hold up. YouTube, your only move is hustle. Hustle combo. Have you guys seen this game? Fucking crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Automod banned itch.io? How is it? 
How have we gone this far in our life without this ever popping up? Of course you can. Dude, that's like our main website. What are you talking? We're here like every day. How is that a banned work? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Arizona are also wicked. No, th this game is buttery, dude. I don't. You guys need to see the combos in this game. Like it's 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 absurd. You literally just like. You kick a dude into like the next dimension. It's awesome. We're about to hate me. How is itch.io not allowed? Like, I'm just so surprised you found that hole. Uh, it's itch. We're, I literally have the page open. Like, <laughs> how the fuck does it not been here? Whatever, dude. All right, we need to load the ones up for priest and everything else. So we'll just make, instead of testing if all of these different things are working, we just need to make the other classes. So let's go ahead and make a new resource. For, for Robert, class unlocks. To go class unlocks the GD. And this will be the priest class unlocks. And it'll be empty. And then we'll create a new one. The res oopsies. Uh, create new resource. This will be class unlocks. This will be uh, ranger class unlocks. Like this. And create new. The resource, it's going to be create a new class unlock here. It's going to be the wizard. Wizard class unlocks. There we go. Let's go ahead and fill these out real quick. So we're gonna go here. We're we'll say this is the priest. Priest unlocks. We're gonna add a new element here. It's going to be a new unlock. We're gonna click here to oops, these click here. At level five, you get the priest basic attack. The category is basic attack. And the unlock is ID something. ID number three. ID number three. There we go. Save it up. Ranger class, you get the ranger basic attack. That is ID number four. Go ahead and add that there. Here we go. Uh, create character is broken, I think. Uh, the whole game is broken right now. The game is not running. Sorry. The bot can't really do anything about that because they, yeah. We, we need to add, actually, that's a good point. I'm going to add this. Um, front, okay, so front and air handling when the game cannot be communicated with we need to set a timer on the java or on the javascript side to say hey if i don't get a response back in like 15 seconds say the thing don't work <laughs> so you're not just being there clocked because right now it probably just says the bot is thinking which is not very helpful for you ranger class class name ranger unlocks we're gonna go to here we say new unlock click this at level five you get a basic attack and that basic attack is id four and finally, the wizard. It's ID number five. Wizard, we're gonna go here. Last name, wizard. The unlocks. Add an unlock. New unlock. Click here. Delete this one. Level five. Category, basic attack. And the unlock ID is also five. Okay, now everyone has unlock attack. Or basic attack to unlock. Ship it. Oh, we go here. Um, I go, I go to the, restart the bot. The bot's rerunning. Okay, you should be able to play the game again. There you go. Uh, I think of the base character combos are juicy. You gotta see the modded characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Punch kick, throw cars. I didn't that hurt. Yeah, 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 dude. <laughs> it's so sick. Do you have something else with the character, though? Having trouble with sp spriting and attack frames. Or sprinting and attack frames. I wish you the best of luck, man. That sounds so sick. That's such a cool thing to be working on. So you're mostly just doing the art for it? Shit ton of stuff to do in my game and a shit ton for homework? I think you probably should do the homework first. I'm so sorry. I know that's the wor I know that's not the thing you want to hear right now, but uh, prioritize the things that are due first. You feel me? The games will always be here for you to work on. Although y'all, were you the one saying that you had to committed to a date already? <laughs> Doing art and code. Jesus Christ, he does it all. My God, you do it all. Sorry, I shouldn't. Just... That's the same, dude. Good luck. Goddamn. If people are in the game. The game isn't crashing. Uh, might have bitten off more than you can chew. This is one of those things where like, sometimes you learn how to regulate scope and that's what you walk away and you're like, that's what I learned from this project. That's how I feel with game jams a lot of the time. It's like, what do we learn from this game jam? Game jam? How to do less things. <laughs> Very new to modding and coding and art. Sounds like you're kind of already moving though, you know what I mean? So just keep uh, making steady progress if you can do that. Basic attack on luck here. Yes, dude, it works. Robear, you're a genius. This is Robear, right? You level 21? You're OP, Robear. What the fuck? You may continue with your life, though. Resume the game. Execution resume. 
We're still going. Hell yeah. The game doesn't crash anymore. This is the Dude, I need to tell Aerolax about just going up a Goto version. This is the best thing ever. What's... I'm a knight. Okay. This is okay. This is okay. Okay, so... The unlock is hooked up. So we made this unlock resource. We need to add the ability to check for unlocks of your level and lower. Would we ever need to do that in a real game? Let me think. I don't want to do a thing where like every time you level up, it checks to give you all of the unlocks that you don't have below a certain level. In other words, I think I'm gonna have to reset everyone's levels because I don't think I don't think retrofitting it to do this is a good idea. Got 30 wisdom, but does it even mean anything yet? Not. Mm -hmm. It almost means something. Trust me. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm gonna use one of the base characters as a template for my character as practice. That's a great idea. I think a lot of pixel artists like get started doing that. There's like this meme where your first like 10 characters, you just draw the Mega Man character in pixel art. So hell yeah, man. I wish you the best of luck. Let me know how it goes. Again, as long as you're making progress, that's all that matters. As long as you're just making a little bit, a little bit more progress every time you try. Another daily bit. Thank you so much, Abwengi. How, how's it going, buddy? How are you? Okay. Um. How do I do? Okay. So this is the unlocks. We're gonna say class unlocks. Dot check for new unlock. And it's going to be this this level. The other way we could do this is we can check hey tempest game tempest game dev thank you for the follow i appreciate it another game dev i see welcome in welcome in how's it going what you working on sorry that was if you're working on something what are you working at don't you don't have to make something up for me it's okay you could i'd still believe you um we could have something on the class progression that's latest level checked for unlocks and if there's a delta between your current level and that thing, it, instead of checking for one thing, it checks for all of the things that you should have unlocked up into that level. Is that a good idea, or should I just reset everyone's characters? Maybe a, a avian, Eter Eter Eternum, Eternum, Eternum. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. You're now in here as well. It's good to have you on both platforms. <laughs> I figure that you're the last that you have the save. You're Aiden on YouTube, I assume. Good, how about you? I'm doing great, man. Having a good time. Just making some code. Things are getting a little bit complicated, but I think that's okay. Now the bit is done, I'll be back after I finish my homework. Good luck on your homework, and buggy. Hope to see you again soon. Um, Yeah, if there's a delta between those two things, I can check that way. Or I can just preserve everyone's characters. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You know what I'm doing, right? We all know. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to reset the levels. So this will go ahead and check everything for the levels for this exact level. Let's make this function first, and then I can see what this returns. What have I been coding for? Mm. Oh god, is it like 10 years now? Oh, let's not let's not have that be the number, please. <laughs> okay, professionally, let's say like seven. That'll make me feel better about the situation. Oh God, I'm old. Ugh. Right now I've been working on my first commercial game on a roguelite with some RPG elements. Actually not right now. Uh... Hey Aiden, thanks for the second follow. <laughs> right now because I'm making some source code for my company. How goes your project? Right on man, dude, that sounds fun. First commercial game, huh? I'm so happy for you. I'm not quite there or even close, but one day, maybe, maybe. Um, right now we're making a game or that you can play through Discord that like appears on the screen so like this is the rpg that's running right now if you're in the discord you can join the game and you'll have your character like pop up here and you can like fight and you can choose your class and get class unlocks and stuff like that it's going pretty well but like i feel bad that we keep having to reset everyone's classes over and over because <laughs> like i'm refiguring out how to do like progressions on the classes and how to like do unlocks and stuff and i keep having to require to like reset everyone other or retrofit like loading your character in and then reset load like refiguring everything you've unlocked so i don't know and very weak die quickly it's kind of the point the game is meant to be like collaborative so this is just the first forest area there'll be like bosses and stuff that we're gonna fight together too and they're gonna be a lot harder but 
if you're low-key getting carried by other members, that's that's almost the intention of the game. Like, we're supposed to be working together as a team to fight stuff. Yeah. It's a good time. <laughs> I, I love coding. I really do. I'm so glad that I uh, got lucky and that I really liked computers and went to a college where they're like, hey, do you want to do computers more? And I was like, yeah, dude. I feel very, very lucky to be in doing the things that I get to do because I find them very enjoyable. All right, I mean, I'm procrastinating from the revision I need to do. I mean, you can always start it later, right? I'll be the bad influence, you know? Everyone else is reminding you you're procrastinating. Me, I'm like, you could procrastinate a little bit more. Is it, is it that? Is it that? You could wait two, it's just two hours, dude. Just wait two hours, then start later, you know? Just start it tomorrow. Off, you have a good night's sleep, you'd be like, right away, you know, get a coffee, then start working on it. That's your thought process? You get me, you get me. Do today, do today, Vortox. You wonder, we are, you get me, you get me, Vortox. <laughs> Just as so long as you know approximately how long it's gonna take you. Okay, look, look, look. Here, okay. Here's the reason that you should always procrastinate. Two reasons, actually. One is something called spin up time. Okay, spin up time is a made up word that you use to explain why you haven't been working all day. If you have like three meetings in a day and you get nothing else done, you use this word. It's like a get out of jail free card. You say, ah. I was in meetings all day and I just, there's too much spin up time. I didn't get any code done, right? Great, great thing, great word. What this means in actuality is that you need like an hour to a half hour bef before you're like working on something, before you actually get any work done, right? And like, it actually is a real thing, but you know, half hour, an hour, four hours, a whole day, you have one meeting and you can't do anything. Who's to say what a real spin up time is, right? We all know, it's fine. And the second thing is time efficiency, right? Okay. If you're if you have a project that's due at midnight five days from now, if you work on it for like two hours every day from now until that midnight that it's due, it's gonna take you ten hours, right? Two hours a day for five days? Ten hours. But if you panic and you do it in the last six hours, you'll still get it done within six hours. You saved yourself four hours because you were anxious and you worked faster. That's called budgeting your time efficiently you're putting yourself in a position where you will work faster that you're just being smart about how you're using your time this makes perfect sense to me and also those two hours a day those two hours a day that you're quality i don't know what that word means i've never heard of it before i'm not i'm not familiar <laughs> I, what what is a quality i don't understand this revision is for my gcse's okay all right yeah th this is for school projects if you're working on something that has a four letter acronym you should take your time and do this properly. I don't know what this is, but it's more than three letters. That's gotta be important, dude. I mean, oh, I, what does this even stand for? General case selective engineering, probably, or or maybe uh, uh, gross computational s security exponents. Could be, could be. That That's another thing probably is. Yeah, you should take your time with this. T take your time, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's happening like five weeks. I hate when my uh, grand uh, cathode uh, service executions are in five weeks. I hate when that happens. Oh, oh GSEs this week. GCSEs. Oh, oh the worst. <laughs> Start as well and stop procrastinating. Everyone, if you're procrastinating right now, leave the stream and you don't go do your work. I'll be. You can watch the VOD later if you're dedicated, or you can just never see me again. That's okay too. All right, it's gonna be okay either way. I promise. General Certificate of Secondary Education. Yeah, King, you should take your time with that. That sounds very important. If it's like a school project, though, maximize your time efficiency. I've tried practicing design while I was procrastinating. Start in the next 10 minutes. I start, and in the next 10 minutes, I'm watching videos or thinking about playing games. Ah, this is why I try not to work at home too much, actually. Because the home is where my computer is. My computer has all these games on it, and games are fun. Oh, no, dude. Oh, oh God, that's the worst. <laughs> School is too woke, so I might get flunked. I hope you're using woke in the un in the ironic way, because I think it's hilarious when you call things woke that aren't. When you're like, oh god, my butter is so woke. That's hilarious to me. That's funny. <laughs> Exams that matter? Take your time and study for that. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. You're in California? Yeah, I feel that. It's like the funniest thing. to like, oh, These donuts are so woke, dude. That's funny to me. It'll never not be funny. Unless a company does it, and then it immediately stops being funny. But you know, that's how it works. Such is the life cycle. 
I'm doing my free time. Wish I could have done programming school. Um, I think you're okay either way. Like, the thing about learning coding in school is, like, I think some people have the impression that if you learn computer science in school, that you're taught in such a way that, like, you understand the fundamentals of programming. When, like, the thing about learning code in school is it's just a thing that forces you to code, and that's the real value in it. You know what I mean? No, 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 the partial bit of my feature, and my game is not there. What feature? I, I Was that a planned feature? I don't even remember that. I don't even remember you talking about that, Finn. I, what do you, what feature? Um, but yeah, I, like, so long as you're coding and making progress, like, the value of the education is not as, like, what's the line from Goodwill Hunting? Where it's like, uh, I could have got my degree at a library for $10 in late charges. So that's kind of how I feel sometimes. <laughs> Uh, hey kids relatable haha <laughs> buy our product we're so relatable fellow kids look at us trash talking on twitter and having a jolly old time buy our product yeah dude remember when wendy's was mean to people on twitter that was so funny i was like haha a brand doing things to get attention never done that before what a novel and interesting concept i do love the crab though have you seen the crab oops just leaked my steam oopsie daisy have you seen the crab hang on this is my favorite meme. Silence brand. What the f- Oh! Max and function check for class unlocks and base research class unlocks. Whoopsies. I crashed the game. What? <laughs> my bad. I was trying to show a funny image. I crashed the game. Hey, Vavina. Welcome, everybody. How's it going? This one. This one is good. This one's good. Silence Viv. Yeah. Silence brand. <laughs> I just like just Duolingo playing into the killer bird, incorporating them into the app. That's kind of funny. I don't mind the nods. I, I don't like it when the whole account is gimmicky, but like the nods are fun. It, you get one try. You get one try to be out of pocket and funny on Twitter. And I can be like, <laughs> but don't, don't lean in. You know what I'm saying? You know, like just take your one shot. If it works, cool. If it doesn't, fine. Spanish or Vanish on Ice was pretty good. That's kind of funny, actually. I'll give it up. You know, Push is the best way to learn Japanese. I've never tried Duolingo Push. I'm in a Japanese language school right now. That's what I've been doing to learn Japanese. It's pretty good pretty good okay so we need to add this onto the resource here class unlocks resource here we go uh it's gonna be function check for new unlock class level we're going to say for unlock in that's not how you spell that word <laughs> in unlocks <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> getting a van um for unlock and unlocks if unlock dot level equals equals class level return unlock there you go we do it like that uh duolingo is not as good as people sell it is like a learning like learning using duolingo is ridiculously slow it's not by any means the best way um okay i there is no best way to learn a language in my humble opinion um it's to okay this, this kind of gets into the thing. Well, uh, let me let me say it this way. To learn a language, learning... To, to brighten your knowledge of learning a language anywhere is to brighten it everywhere. So if Duolingo is good for you to learn any Japanese at all, if it's good for you to do the thing and build the habit, if it's the system that works for you, then it is the best way to learn Japanese for you. Using Genki books? I use Genki as well. I really like Genki. Genki is like my favorite. If I was going to recommend a method, I would probably recommend Genki. But a lot of people like the gamification of Duolingo. So if it is good at getting you to do the thing to learn the language that you want to learn, then I think it's the best way. I think the best way is just anything that gets you moving in the right direction. And we're all up to a Japanese language school near me. If you're getting procrastinating instead. They're, they're pretty solid. Do your research though. Like check reviews on Reddit weirdly and also on the website because like some of them are visa farms some of them are actually good language schools check the books they're using too avoid me nanani hongo if you can i don't like that one ways we're for me is learning the grammar and then trying to read books and watching movies thing language in my brain is really good yeah and that's like that's a really good way to learn um mine is just conversation i don't know like that's just the one that's always going to stick the best for me if i can just talk to people in japanese that's going to be the best way for me to learn 
Um, which is why I like the language school because it forces you to talk a lot. So that's what works for me. But everyone's different. Everyone's brains are literally different. So people are going to learn in different ways. If you like gamification, do, do Duolingo. If you like textbooks like me, Genki's awesome. There you go. That's all it is. I just want to speak the language of my brain. Yeah. The only problem is that speaking in your brain doesn't help you with the pronunciation. Um, I think it actually probably does because like, okay. You only have so much like brain juice, right? I'm not saying it will make you have good pronunciation, but if you speak to yourself in your brain, the like amount of energy you're spending on thinking of the words goes down and the amount of energy that you can spend just listening to pronunciation you will have more of your brain energy to spend learning the pronunciation. So even if your pronunciation is bad right now, as long as you can understand the words, the more you hear them and use them, the less you'll have to think about what those words mean and the more you can focus on pronunciation. So you're actually saving yourself energy to work on just your pronunciation. One thing that helps for me a lot, so I, out of all of the skills and like reading, writing, speaking, whatever, my pronunciation is probably my best thing because I, when I was learning Japanese, I had an Anki deck with pronunciation in it and whatever they would say, I would just repeat it back. I had no idea what I was saying. To this day, some of those things, I don't know what they mean, but I can rattle off those sentences like in the same pitch intonation as the native Japanese speakers, and that has helped me a ton. So if you want something specific for your pronunciation, go that, but like, as long as you're gaining understanding, to brighten anywhere is to brighten everywhere. So don't worry about it. About Japanese Discord learning community, which has a really good routine for different intensities and skills. That's interesting, Tap Legend. I'd actually be curious about that. Um, I tried to talk in the Japanese on Voltex server. It ignored a lot. Don't worry about it. It's not. It's fine. <laughs> All right, we save this up. We go to this. So now we have the thing where we can check for the new class unlocks. Is the game crashed? Did I crash the game? I did crash the game. My bad. We can go to here. And now this function should exist, so I can rerun the bots. And you all can join the game now. Okay, so we go here. I'm going to slash join the forest. I'm in the forest. Okay, game is working. Sweet. I think one uh, is a massive one in Japanese. Is most Japanese struggle to understand non-Japanese accents. They're actually pretty okay. Like if you're in Tokyo, you're fine. They're, everyone will understand you perfectly fine. I will say I have a hard time with foreigner accents though. I expect people to speak like Japanese people speak, and so when I hear someone speak Japanese and it's not in that accent, I actually have a really hard time with it, which is very funny to me, because I only really like have my input for native Japanese speakers and like the people I talk to like at the school and stuff are native Japanese speakers so it's like it's very it's a very funny effect that it's had these many Hollywood books and memorize I was just having classes one day a week and we use those books teacher is Japanese it kind of forces to speak more in Japanese that's the best thing like that's the best value I've gotten out of a Japanese school is just being forced to speak in Japanese because otherwise I do like Genki and stuff and I talk to my friends in English and it's like okay well what are we doing here okay so now we have this to check for the new unlocks. So this is going to return and unlock if there is one. I'm going to do like this and I'm going to say return so I can put a breakpoint. And now I need one of you to level up. Do me a favor and level up. Could you do that for me? Hey, Code Cuber. Welcome in, buddy. How's it going? Good to see you. Dude, we're killing stuff. So someone's got to level up soon, right? 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 Be insane. Oh, someone that has a class set. Do I have a class? I think I have a class set. I'll choose a new class. Oh, go off fast. Select uh, Ranger. I'm a ranger now. Dude, hell yeah. We really need to get the sprite switching so people can see their different classes. Breakpoint. Hell yeah, dude. The unlock is null. That's correct, because I'm only level two. Okay, execution resume. Breakpoint. Wizard level two. Whoever you are, thank you for being a wizard. Alright, now we need to get to level three. <laughs> Breakpoint. Level two. I mean, I could just adjust the stuff so this happens faster. Well, let me code out what it should do. I can remove this breakpoint for now. And you guys can just level up a bunch. I'm going to say if unlock. And here's where we can actually set the unlock onto your class. So this will say perfect. Nope, not perfect. Try again. <laughs> this way we can say if you're at the breakpoint, it's like level five or whatever, and you have an unlock ID, we're going to use that ID with the category to go get the thing that you've unlocked and add it to your character as an unlock. Check the other experiment I said earlier. My school is in. What this be? Uh. Huh, chap, chap, I don't really know how to discuss that, but I'm sorry that you're facing, like, adversity in that sense. That sucks. Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't want to get into, like, I thought we were using the word ironically. 
Class unlocks here. Okay, perfect. So we have the unlock. This is the actual thing we're looking at. Level five. It's a basic attack and its ID is four. Dude, it's working. Uh, Mochi isn't sweet. Oh, what's your favorite Japanese sweets? My bad. Uh, hates politics confirmed. <laughs> Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> I don't think they're good stream topics, but uh, I mean, I have some strong feelings about things. Uh, mochi and sweet by default make me mix a lot of those things for a variety of flavors. Candy version of tofu. I like mochi a lot. I like um, I, I can't think of something that's like oh oh dude dude. There's a cafe that I go to. They have a scone that is uh. Sakura flavor. It's actually unbelievably good. That's like a very narrow thing for your answer. I'm sorry, but that is my favorite thing in Japan right now. It's oh my god. It like has like frosting on it. That's like I don't know what the fuck Sakura flavor is, but it is that, and it's oh whoo, ah so good, so good. I know I discovered my mod project. I have screwed. It's okay. It's pronounced. It's, wait, it's not pronounced. Wait, am I saying scone wrong? It's gone. Wait. All right, well, I have the high ground here because I'm pronouncing it in Japanese anyways, which is su on scon. I think I'm saying it wrong either way. I think this is how you say scon. Scon, yeah. Pronounce scon and Jeb. Jeb goes out of scon. I'm sorry. I don't look. They just tell it at the restaurant. It's really good, okay? I don't know. It has it. Why does it have an E if it's not supposed to be an O? No, I hate English. I hate English so much. The worst language. <laughs> yeah, it's like this. Sukon. Sukon. Akura Sukon. Don't, don't at me, okay? This is the word. I'm speaking Japanese, okay? I was worried about having someone's feelings with every word you say. Yeah, but like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not touching it. First way of making a Sukon is best. I would say with the E. Sukoni. You're saying like, Sukoni. Or potentially scone? Scone. Scone sounds like a French thing. Would you like a scone? I don't know where I'm going with this. I need to close this pain and go back to coding. That's what needs to happen. Scone. Corona. I don't know. We've lost the plot entirely. Uh, I think it's a bit sweet. At least I'm with the red bean. Which you can be sweet. It can also not be. <laughs> hey, Nana. Welcome in. French is weird. Any Latin based language is like, hey, listen. The word is I before E except after C, except when there's an exception, and except when that exception doesn't work. But other than that, it's always like that. But other than, but sometimes it isn't. Okay. I'm dyslexic. I'm not even gonna get close. I'm gonna spell field wrong for the rest of my life. I'm gonna spell it like this. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Sometimes I do it like this. I don't know if that's right or wrong either. It's fine. It's one of them. Whatever. <laughs> Focus for three minutes. All right. I will go to jail for three minutes. Oh, sorry, everyone. I must go to focus jail. <sighs> focus for three minutes goodbye chat okay what the fuck so now that we have the idea of the thing that we want we need to actually add it to your character how do we do this um do i just want the id of the stuff you have unlocked Eh. oh and then you can switch to the active attack by loading the resource yo that's perfect Ow. Yes, dude. Yes, I'm a genius. Okay, if unlock, we're going to say... Uh, oh, we need the character. This is the character. The character in the active class. Uh, so we go to this. So player character. Check class level ups. Self. You pass, pass yourself around there. So like this. We're going to go here. Okay, so we're going to say character dot class nope dot character stats dot basic attacks equals an empty list nope dot uh dot it id i want it to be a set it should be a set right it can be a list it's it's fine dot append the ID. In other words, nope. We're appending the ID of this unlock. So I'm going to say unlock dot ID because it should be <clears throat> category basic attack unlock. Wait, this should be this should say ID, not. Why is it unlock? Did I do that for some reason? 
Let me check the thing. Um, bait, no, bait, it's class unlocks. It was an unlock. Category, level, category, unlock. It should be unlock ID. It should be ID. I, well, no, because if it was ID, you'd think it's the ID of this thing. So I guess it's okay for... Uh, <laughs> attack ID, unlock ID, uh, resource ID, unlocked resource ID. Unlocked resource ID. Yeah, it's that. I have to reset everything now. Okay, class unlocks here for the knights. Your ID is for the knight attack. I think it's two. Yeah, it's two. It's two. Save. The priest is three. Three. Save. The rangers, four. Four. Save. The wizard is five. Five. Save. Let me check that. Knight is two. Wizard is three. Ranger is four. Wizard is five. Cool, 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 cool. Unlocked resource ID. We go here. We're going to say... Uh, pen the unlocked resource ID. Because it's only basic text right now. So it's, what it should do is... If unlock dot... So unlock is an unlock. Maybe unlock. Unlock. We're going to say unlock dot category. Category equals equals... Oh, we should do a match on this section. So say match uh, unlock dot category like this. And we're going to say basic attack like this. And if it is a basic attack, then we say, hey, character, we're going to add this to your unlocked basic attack. So this should be unlocked basic attacks. Unlocked basic attacks. Here we go, dude. Hell yeah. Sweet. Uh, I'm free from jail. Hell yeah. <laughs> Odo. Odo, the game engine. Nice. I am back. I can read I can read chat. <laughs> okay. Uh what is going what is going good lord what is happening in chat right now? <laughs> okay, so we can go to We need to unlock basic stats on the character class. The character class. Character stats. Active basic attack. We need Export var unlocked basic attacks. There's gonna be an array and it will start with ID one because you always, oops. There's gonna be array of basic attacks. No, it'll be an array of integers. Cause it's just the ID. We're only saving the ID, only saving the ID. You just have the unlock basic attack IDs. IDs like this, this is the way we do it. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go back to this. We say this ID's append. Okay. All right. Favorite anime? Ooh. Ooh. That's hard. Um. Nichijo. Nichi I think it's Nichijo. Nichijo? Yeah. Yeah, this one? I think it's this one. This is. I think this anime is like goaded with the sauce. I think this is, I think it's my favorite anime. I don't know if you guys have seen this one. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's a good choice. The one where the principal wrestles the deer for like 30 minutes is one of my favorite episodes of TV ever. It's He suplexes a deer. It's 10 out of 10. <laughs> the good anime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great anime. Great anime. Uh, you made a game dev anime. It's pretty awesome too. Oh, this studio made a game? Dude. You made a game dev anime? I didn't know about that. What's it called? And I made it at a bad time in history, so I know second season can happen. Is that why there wasn't one? Huh. There's just a spinning image. Robot was nice. I love the robot. Another one that I liked a lot is uh, Place to Place. I liked this one when I was in high school. Uh, it's a little more like rom com -y, but it's just another like very pleasant slice of life. This girl's my favorite. The crazy like mad scientist girl. She's the best. <laughs> She's got the energy. Watching solo leveling. I haven't seen solo leveling yet, but I've been told it's really good. I have a lot of friends that like it. Uh, I was really accepted when I heard about the deer. I was convinced. There's like, there's a thing where they do rock, paper, scissors, and it's like the most intensely animated thing you've ever seen in your life. It's awesome. Millennials try to use Gen Z slang. Are you clipping me saying goaded with the sauce? Bro. Bro, I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure you can just use those words, all right? I didn't go, I didn't go as down as I needed to go, you know? I wasn't, I wasn't saying stick out your gap for the Rizzler, all right? All right? We can back up. We can all relax, okay? All right. 
My favorite Gen Z sl slang, by the way, is the word juicer. I use that all the time. <laughs> you're like having a good, have a good version of a game, right? You know, like a hot run. You're like, oh, dude, this runs a juicer. It's just, that's a perfect word. It's just such a good word. <laughs> My favorite is probably Bunny Girl Senpai because it has nothing to do with Bunny Girl Senpai. Isn't that crazy? Wait, you just did that? Did what? I just did what? Hydrate? You got it. Thank you. New game. The exclamation point is important. New game anime, huh? New game. Oh, look at that. Japanese 4 pound of my series. What's it about? What's it about? I've been inspired by the character design of a particular video game when she was younger. This is a high school person working as character designer for video games developer Eagle Jump. Works on modeling, designing characters for video games development. She comes acquainted with her female colleagues. The character design department, as well as from those in the company. It's literally about making games. Down Alpha Talker? Wait, is Juicer Alpha? Wait. I thought, I didn't think like Gen Alpha had words yet, besides like skibbity. Skibbity. <laughs> I didn't realize that, I didn't realize Juicer was Alpha. Damn. Games on your phone, the anime? Kind of actually, <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> Wait a second. I got games on your phone? Did you even mention Skibbity? Why not? I just want to spin the image, because it's good. I need more time to watch anime. I live in Japan, you'd think I'd watch anime, but God, I just, I don't. It belongs in the nether realm? You know, you sound gens. Is is Minecraft more Gen Z or more Gen Alpha? I don't know if I, I don't know if society's ready for that question yet. Gen Alpha stuff is, is like that really goes tough. That that goes tough. I've never heard of that before. I'm trying to think of like what Minecraft is millennial? That's not true. Z zero. Minecraft is more Gen Z, maybe a bit millennial. I'll take that. I'll take that. Minecraft being millennial is no. No, there's no I know why you're wrong. Do you know why I know why you're wrong? You know why I know? Because we were having a conversation in the Discord the other day about what version of Minecraft everyone started with. And a lot of people said it was 1.6. A lot of people said they started with version 1.6. Okay. And everyone was talking about how like things after 1.6 feel so new and things before 1.6 feel so old, right? Everyone has that experience because everyone started around 1.6. And I was like, oh my God, I started around 1.6. That was the piston update, right? It was not the piston update. Piston update is 1.6 beta. That's 1.6 beta. I started playing during the beta. Most people who play Minecraft now have played Minecraft after release. People who play Minecraft now don't know. It was 1.7? Nah, whatever. I was two years old. <laughs> during peak millennial years. Yeah, but like millennials weren't playing it. That's kind of that's the point I'm trying to make, right? Hasn't made it for a long time. That's true. Like, it was during the time that millennials were adults, right? But we were kids. You know what I mean? It's so like the millennials and Gen Z people were ch were children, right? And those are the people that are playing the game. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Oh, I wonder if there's more Gen Z Minecraft players or more Gen Alpha Minecraft players. I want to know. I want to know the answer to that. I'm playing beta 1.1 because I remember they added sheep dying and squids. Whoa. Back then when millennials were adults. <laughs> As opposed to now where they've, they've Benjamin buttoned back down to being children. I say that I've never seen the movie. I don't even know what the movie is. Is it called Benjamin Button? Is that the name of the movie? Dude, it's so funny to play like old versions of Minecraft. Like 1.6. I remember. Um, oh shit. What was the first XP updates? So at the time, my friends and I had a server, and there was the XP updates, um, and it added XP into the game, just like it works now. There was no level cap, so you could just go infinitely, and the level scaling, I think, was linear, and so you would get to like 150, 200 level, whatever. There was this thing, though, when you died with the original XP in the game, you dropped all of your XP on the floor, dropped all of your XP on the floor. Okay, that's what happens now too. You drop a percentage of your XP on the floor. The thing is, back in these days, there was no like orb combining. You just dropped all of the orbs you had ever collected onto the floor. Which means if you played in a multiplayer server, when you died, you dropped a mm, thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand orbs onto the ground all at the same time. If you died somewhere, that chunk became unusable. No one could go there. It was no man's land. So what you did 
is if you wanted to keep your server alive, you built a, uh, can't say the word on Twitch. You built an unalive chamber. And every few levels, your character would have to jump into the unalive, uh, the unalive chamber, the unalive booth. You would go ahead and jump in here because lava would melt XP orbs. You'd take your character, you'd jump in and you'd unalive yourself every 10, 15 levels. So you come back, come back from a good mining session, jump in the booth. You had a good time, like find a bunch of stuff off in the wilderness because Enderman just came out and that's exciting. They drop a lot of XP, get in the booth. Do you know what mine, do you know what XP did back then? Nothing. Enchanting wasn't a thing yet. You just got levels that could crash the server. Feel hot trash can? Yeah, man, you get me. <laughs> now jump in. You've been alive for too long. You need to unalive. Are you going to crash the server? Also, if two people use a fishing rod at the same time, it also crashed the server back then. It's so funny. I guess the has always been garbage. It's been pretty bad the whole time, yeah. I mean, it's hard to make a game like that performant, though. So. It is what it is. But yeah, yeah, jump in the booth. You've been alive too long. I'm sorry. I, did. I don't write the rules. You just have to do it. <laughs> okay. Um, back to our video game. So we're going to go to this and say unlocked basic attack IDs, append. And that should append the new unlocked thing for you. Now, one thing we need to do is on the new player character base stats, we need to add a new thing here. Uh, unlocked basic attack is an array. We're going to add a new element. You start the game with the first basic attack unlocked. There you go. Bender's favorite booth. You get it. You get it. <laughs> you heard of Mine Light? No, what's that? Boxes are hard, but I'm just going to say Minecraft uses to have like zero optimizations. I mean, it used to be just made by Notch, though, right? Like, it's getting better nowadays. That does, that's surprising, yeah. I mean, Notch literally made the game in like the original version of Minecraft. Yeah, that thing was the, f <laughs> the antithesis of the word performance. <laughs> Continue. Game is still running. Okay. Now, if you hit exactly level five, you should unlock a new ability. Sweet dude. Invalid call to function check class level ups on base node player character manager expected two arguments. This is two arguments. It's you. Expected two arguments? Don't you have two? What? Either I don't know how to count or... <laughs> what the fuck? Never seen that before. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, weird. That's my Minecraft 500 gigabyte RAM on my 90s laptop. CPU, what do you mean? Dude, when we were playing Minecraft as kids, uh, yeah, we we had a we had a computer that's RAM was in the megabytes. It was awesome. Game's talking apparently forgot the name, but the game I'm talking about is open source community made Minecraft clone. That's cool. A lot of like very cool voxel style games. Minecraft's kind of like created its own genre. It's very very cool. Very cool. Uh, you crash if you switch different dimensions. I got Minecraft 1.12 to run with only 24 megabytes of RAM. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What do you even have loaded? Why do you have a scroller next to your name? The code monk. The code monk. <laughs> no, four. What do you mean? What do you mean four? Dedicated wham. <laughs> Dude, I hope that kid's doing great. I hope that, I hope the dedicated wham kid is having a good life. That's one of the most like, wholesome, not whole, like, I, I hope that the people like, the funniness of that situation was its adorableness and not because people, he said the word RAM wrong, right? Aim and space to only take one line. Game couldn't handle it. It should cut it off at 10 characters. You just, you're too good. I don't know. Go to Farlands and Alpha and don't expect your PC to take it nicely. <laughs> Why does it sound like I'm mining a Bitcoin? Okay. No one's actually... All right, I think... Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, so we added the unlocking. That all works. Class information resource. That is also done. We need to do a switch basic attack command and a make healing work on monk basic attack. When we check this box, wisdom does something. When it happens, you get to heal people. Isn't that awesome? Tried kanji and it died. Wait, like the learning a language or what do you mean? What do you mean? You got means of death by the montage shit posters. Oh, really? Um, yeah, didn't we all try Kanji in time? <laughs> Boy, that's true. The bot. Wait, what? Oh, you tried it. You have a name in Kanji and it crashed? It might just be thinking. What did... How did you... How did you try Kanji? There are things at Streamer. It only works on Twitch, but I got you. Ow, Jamie, why? Make it stop. 
I don't want to say I deserve the next uh, award for best actor, but did you just see my performance? Ow. Did you just see my performance? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's up for you to decide. I just want to say my piece of it. If a PS3... Hey, that one Twitch fellow. Thanks for the follow. My PS3 can win a Switch game just goes to show how crap Nintendo hardware is. Um, It's just... Okay, I'm so hesitant to be like, yeah, Nintendo shit, meh, right? Like, it's just, ow. It is not built to be a performant console, right? Like, the the selling point of the Switch isn't that it's like running AAA games at maximum frames, right? The selling point of the Switch is that I can pick it up and take it on the plane. And that's fucking cool, right? If I want to run a game at max settings, I want to run some crazy ass shit, right? And at like max settings, I just put it on my PC. Now, I'm not to, that's not to say that they don't deserve any criticism. We've all seen the latest Pokemon game. That looked like Garbo. We all agree with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, could it look better? Yes. But like, I'm not in the campus like, oh, this thing sucks. Also, what I don't understand is why don't they just release a dock that has like a graphics card in it that could just run upscale the games? That's what I don't understand. I would buy that. Everyone would buy that. You buy a dock that's like 300 bucks or something that has a graphics card in it. Why, why, where is that? Thanks, champ. I got you, buddy. I got you. I made a Steam Deck and destroyed the Switch. Again, it's a different thing that they wanted to build, right? The difference between the, like, the Steam Deck and the Switch is that the Steam Deck is the size of a small child and the Switch is as thin as paper, right? It's just building for different... I'm not trying to, like, again, shield from criticism, but I, I don't like when the takes are like, oh, those lazy devs, I bet they don't even know what an electron is, right? Like, it's like, that's clearly not what happened. They have a team of very smart people that put these consoles together. They're just optimized for different things. That's all. Also, the Steam Deck is eight years newer or something crazy. How old is the Switch? This is going to be an uncomfortable Google. We all ready for it? How old is the Switch? It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. 20... 17 that console is seven years old dear god we're gonna pick a class do slash do slash select class and it'll show you the options i got a halo comet evolved on some kids thumb drive at school is my high school we had it on the network we had it on the network it was awesome which will also be weaker than a modern smartphone if the leak specs are true i'll see it when i believe it or i'll believe it when i see it i wouldn't be surprised by that though Problem is with the switch of the corporate grasp and then I was over it. Now that I'll agree with you 100%. I, I think that that's garbage. 100%. I, I, I don't understand why Nintendo is like that when it comes to their hardware and stuff. That that part sucks. I, I'm 100% with you there. But again, I, I, I don't think it's ever like, oh, those money grubbing Nintendos, they thought they could pull one over on us and put a Nokia processor in a switch. Like, they made a console for a certain price point, Optimat has done certain things, right? It, it is what it is. There's a general purpose for multiple developers. There's at least verifies everybody code that runs on the Switch, so they have a lot more stability with less hardware. That's true too. Yeah, it's um, like I said, just just optimize for different things. And it's totally fine. The center store dies, and the Switch Switch is a piece of garbage. Oh, the 3DS method, or the Nintendo uh, DS shop, or whatever. My DS XL is rotting somewhere out in the world. Uh, but yeah, I don't think they're immune to criticism. I think there's stuff that I don't appreciate with them, like the Wii. I don't understand why the Wii lost the backwards compatibility with the GameCube. That piece seems like weird to me, but why would you take that out? You already had it developed. I don't know about that. Yeah, six years old. Dear God. <laughs> like the Switch? Is the excuse me, Princess, is a, is a good game. <laughs> I just like, when I open my Switch on the plane and I can play video games on my Switch on the plane, it's the best console to me at that moment. They can sell the games on the storefront. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Zelda's better than all. I'm going to say something strange. Um, okay. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games ever, but it is not one of my favorite Zelda games. Does that make sense to anyone? Or is this ramblings of the utterly insane? I don't think it's a good Zelda game. Because Zelda games are supposed to be like story and like adventure and dungeons and all this cool stuff. And there's none of that in Breath of the Wild. Like, I like Breath of the Wild, but the story of Breath of the Wild is the following thing. Hey Link, good morning. You've been asleep for a while. That's the plot. That's the plot of the, you've been asleep for a long time. That's the plot of the game. There's nothing. Tell me anything else that happens in that game. You've been asleep. 
Time to wake up from your nap. That's not great. Wind Waker? God dang. Twilight Princess? Are you jo- Do you- The story in Twilight Princess is so goddamn good. It's it's incredible. It's- It's, it's so- Oh my god. Hey, Link, you're a wolf now. You're in the, the Twilight Zone. What's the Twilight Zone? Oh, it's my thing, but it's not It's not the same. It's not my thing anymore. I don't get to be the thing. I don't get to be the person. Thing. I'm going to hide in your shadow. We're going to be best friends and climb up this tower. It's the best. It's the, Oh my god. It's a, love Twilight Princess? Twilight Princess is like one of my best, my favorite games ever. I think it's my favorite Zelda game too. Um, rather, rather, it's like, not my favorite Zelda game, but outside of the Zelda series, it's great. I completely agree. I think it's, again, like one of my top five games ever. I think Breath of the Wild is like literally the one of the best video games mine is the weapon durability but it's not the time um but it's, it sucks this is a zelda game i'm gonna say it i the story is so boring to me i think nintendo should uh, be held to a higher standard due to his experience and net worth slash respected income i completely agree like i said i don't think they're immune from criticism um the thing that really sucks is like the latest pokemon game <sighs> it looks so bad and it runs so bad but that game was the most fun I've had playing Pokemon in several iterations. Like, since Black and White, it's the most fun I've had playing a Pokemon game. And that is so annoying to me. Because, like, look, I don't care about graphics. Me as a person, I'm not a graphics person. I prefer gameplay. But there be it can only go to a certain point. When your grass looks like green construction paper, it does take me out of the game a little bit. But, like, god damn that game was fun and memorable like i actually had a good time playing the game i care about a performance and you're that's totally you're like there's no shame in that you know what i mean like if that's the thing that makes games for you then absolutely then i, I don't think the switch is the console for you. you know what i'm saying like if you're the person like i want my games to run and look really good and be pleasing to the eye and all that stuff i don't think switch is a good console for you straight up because they don't prioritize that stuff uh gotta take a shower see you take it easy buddy that was the best goddamn game i want to remake there you go I love black and white and below. For sure, yeah, yeah. I think my favorite is also Emerald. Um, don't care about graphics, you just performance. That's, uh, Switch is still not the right thing for you, you know what I mean? Because um, they, they are not performing games. Cloud Prince is one with the, the dumpy. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I haven't heard dumpy imp before. I've heard short stack imp, which is funny to me. It's balance between performance and graphics. For sure. I mean, obviously, right? If you crank up the graphics, your performance gets worse and vice versa. Um, but like, if you, if your, the thing that makes games fun for you is like the performance of the game, that's totally reasonable. And like, there's going to be a different set of games that you're going to enjoy that I don't care about, right? Because I don't care about performance. I don't care about graphics. I only care about gameplay. L gameplay and story are like literally the only two things I care about. Um, I will play a spreadsheet if you let me, and I'll think it's so fun. Like other guys can help you focus on performance. True, yeah, actually, that's that's a good point. Depending on like how you want to load or unload whatever you're actually looking at, yeah, that's totally a thing. Um, but yeah, I love. Actually, maybe you're right. Sun and Moon was really good. Well, now Sun and Moon was good. I didn't super go in for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I thought they were fine. They didn't really add anything to the game that I enjoyed. I liked Sun and Moon. I had fun playing it, but it wasn't memorable to me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really remember all of the regular stuff that happened in that game. It was enjoyable, though. Like, I did have a good time. I just can't, like... I don't know. Sun and Moon was the first game where the the route started to feel very small to me. Have you ever seen Risk of Rain? Oh my... Have I seen Risk of Rain? Have I... Are you kidding me? I have 200 hours in this game, and, like... Only 80? I thought it was gonna be like a thousand. I love this game, dude. I love this game. I have Eclipse 8 too. I have Eclipse 8. That means I'm a god gamer. <laughs> Only on Hunters though. I'm still working on the other ones. I love Risk of Red, dude. So good. That's a game that like both looks pretty, is perf well, is pretty performant, uh, and has great gameplay. It's got it all. It's a perfect game. I did not like Risk of Rain Returns. I'm sorry, Risk of Rain Returns. I don't know why. I don't know why you didn't work for me. I really don't. But every time I played Risk of Rain Returns, I was like, man, you know what game I could be playing? Risk of Rain. I, ow. I don't know why it didn't hit for me. Is that for Marathon? What's Marathon? Wait. Wait, what's Marathon? What? Is this a Risk of Rain thing? Hold up. Is it a Pokemon thing? Bungie Marathon. What is this? What is this? 
Is this like a risk of rain or something? This? New marathon project? What is it? What what is this thing? What are you what am I looking at right now? I'm curious. You have my attention. No. Not related. Oh, right on. Guess <laughs> should I just stream risk return? Did you enjoy it all the time? Do you do you like risk of rain returns? Is there on risk of rain with two hundred hours? That's rookie numbers. It's not as many as I thought. I thought I'd have way more hours in Risk of Rain 2. I have no race. This play speaking of Risk of Rain 2, this playlist is from a Risk of Rain 2 player. Uh, this is from Race, the like one of the best Risk of Rain 2 gamers of all time. A very talented Risk of Rain 2. Uh Return has been more fun than Risk 2 so far. Interesting that you say that. Huh. I, I it did it just totally missed for me. I don't really know why. I just didn't like it. I don't know. Well, it's not that I didn't like it. I had fun, but I just would rather play other stuff, I guess. Just kind of missed for me. That's all good. Still happy to support the uh, Gearbox conglomerate, I guess. <laughs> okay. So we got here, we check for the level ups. This should be saved up now. We got on here, we get this thing. So the next thing we need to do is give you an option to switch between your basic attacks. Now, what should that look like? Um, let's go on the Goto side first. So, how? Dude, we probably want to do it by name. Do we need to name the basic attack? We probably need to name the basic attacks. To be fair, I did go basically as a noob for Risk 2. That's fair, yeah. I, put, I have a lot of time. With it. Such a good game. Um, damn it. How do we do this? It's really weird. Do we... Okay. I... I... <laughs> I think the way that we do this is for the basic attacks, you just, you don't switch your basic attack. You just use your highest level basic attack that you have for your class. Does that make sense? That can seem like it might hurt you though. Um, it's like the ones where it scales on weird stats, you'd actually be dis You'd be disadvantageous to have your class selected being something like if you were the knight and it scales on defense and you haven't put any points in defense, you'd actually do less damage by being a knight. So we could have it be so when you switch your class, you get your attack changed. Or we could do it that you can change your attack. The thing with that is like for the command, we would need to show an option of all of the things that you have unlocked. How the hell do we do that? <laughs> I have no idea how to get the bot to know. For your character, what I what attacks you have unlocked? I mean, we could have a thing that says like slash get unlocked attacks, and it returns that list. But slash unlocks, that could work. That could work, Andy. Yeah. You do slash unlocks that shows you all of the un like the unlocked attacks you have, and like a quick description of those different attacks. That could work. I hope that won't get too big. We might have to really just work towards getting the Discord embeds working so that this game looks pretty. Because as it stands right now, it might be very tricky. Um, that's info, which could be your current stats plus other stuff. Ooh. Kind of just like an everything command. Huh. That could work. Okay. Okay. I like that. So you do slash info. It'll show you the list of all the stuff you have. Your current active attack. And then you can say slash switch attack. And then you'll have the name because you can do slash info first. And the game will ping you when you unlock a new attack too, or let you know somehow. Maybe not by ping directly, but. Okay, so before we do this, we need to make an info command. And this will just paste a giant message with your character info. So create info payload, create info pay, uh, formatting. So what, what should be shown on the info screen? So you do slash info, what, what should you see as the player? Um, we need some, we need some, this is going to be a thick text. Uh, let me, actually, I'm going to open, well, I can do it here in Markdown, actually. And I do like, oopsies, that's not what I want. Please stop. Please stop being the way that you are. What have I done? Holy shit, that was bad. Okay, so we do like this. We say, player name, this is you, username. Username. We're gonna say stat one, stat two, stat three. Current level, current stat points, plus unassigned points. Okay, okay, this is good, this is good. So we say current class, or active class, class, 
Before we do this, we should put your stats. So we have player name. I'm gonna say stats. That's just gonna be a block. So we'll have like power, player name, level. Here, I'll just say username. That makes more sense. Username, level, power, dexterity, uh, power defense, I think. Defense, dexterity, wisdom. We'll do HP, current HP. So current HP over max HP. We'll just give you this. Power, defense, dexterity, wisdom, active class, class. And then we do stat points plus, un oh, un stat yeah, stat points as well. We'll say unassigned stat points. Current MP, max MP. There's no MP right now, I'm sorry. Uh, so we do this, set stat one, stat two, set night. Oh, you're saying like, like level, okay. Well, we can't do it quite like that because it's gonna be class level. So active, so your class, your class level. And then we'll say XP to next level. That's probably a useful thing. Level XP to next level. This this is class info, in, info. Class info. And then we'll say, uh, so the, okay, this is player info. Player info. Username level XP to next level. Current HP, max HP, power defense, dexterity, wisdom, unassigned stat points. Like this. Class info, class, class level, XP to next level. And then we need like the unlocked attacks that you have. So the way we should display this is, fuck, we need a name. Or I could say night basic one, night basic two or something like that. This is weird. But I, th I think this is a good like starting point for this. The thing I need to be able to see though is definitely the attacks. So unlocks like this. We're gonna say basic attacks, basic attacks, and it will look like basic attacks use slash change basic to select a new basic attack. And we're not gonna, we shouldn't pass these by IDs. We should pass these by um, the name. So that, like if you're using the name on the front end, you can see what you actually wanna like have. Call them night basic one you see so far so they can be changed later when you come up with names. That's a good point actually. Yeah, that's a good point, Andy. Yes, yeah, so we can just do um, dash. We need like some sort of line break here. We'll say night basic one. So we just have like default or basic attack. Ow. Basic attack one and it's info. Night basic attack or night basic one. Or we'll just say basic okay, basic attack, night basic one. And let's say you've also been a wizard for a little bit, so you have wizard basic. And this should also maybe you can do like a slash info for these. Because I think if I'm listing all of these in the message, this message is going to be massively long. Although it's ethereal, so it's okay if it's massively long, because only you will see it. So I think it's actually okay. Would you want the info here, or would you rather be able to do slash info? Do slash info night basic one? I think that's maybe better, because we can use info as a hook for like all info commands. Hydrate, you got it. Oh shoot, I'm actually out of water. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Hang on, I need to go get more water. Wait, don't go anywhere. Don't go, hang on, I'll put on, I'll put on, I'll, I'll jingle some keys in front of you. Hang on. Hang on. Minecraft. Craft. Hardcore. Don't worry. I'm getting the keys. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Here you go. Keys. Keys for everybody. Here you go. Did you enjoy the keys? Look at them. They're, they're jangle. They're, 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 what is the word for dangling? Dangle. Oh my God, my English is slipping. I've been in Japan too long. <laughs> it's going down, dude. It's over for me. This is actually very pleasant to watch. I get it. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, this is, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of nice. You know, I feel like I'm exploring a little jungle. I like this. 
Do you think... Do you think the person's actually doing this? Or do they, like, code up a bot that knows how to do parkour? Because they're all spaced the same way, right? What do you think? you think it's a real person? I think it's... This has 4 million views. Holy shit. 4 million views for just doing parkour for an hour and a half? That's awesome for you, dude. You cracked the code. Well done. God damn. Alright, so we do it like this. And then you can just say slash info to get the info on whatever attack. Camera moves look pretty human to me. I bet that's probably a way you can detect between the two of them. Hey, gotta go to Chura? Tell Chura I say hello. You're half of the parkour views? I might be, to be honest. I got Minecraft Acid Interstate. What is that, Aiden? I've never heard of that before. That sounds like a, like a fast movement thing. Okay, so we'll start with this with the unlocks with the basic attacks. Is there anything else that you'd want to see on this list? And then at the bottom I say use slash info attack name to get more informate. I don't know. Info attack name? Well, info can just be like a, a basic slash info for everything in the game. Hydrate. You got it. I have water now. It's stream friendly. You wouldn't lie to me, right? Minecraft Acid Interstate. What is this? Whoa. What is this? Whoa. Why is it twisty? I don't like the twisty. Okay, it's not twisty anymore. Whoa. No, 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 no. That's not... It's not supposed to do... Oh, oh God, it's so much better. It's back to being straight and normal. No, 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 no. Don't like that. <laughs> Is it two hours to park when you miss a jump? Do you think even if you're recording by yourself, you get a little sweaty at, like, the one hour mark? I get a little sweaty. God, I didn't like that. It was going upside down, dude. That's not what they're supposed to do. It's not supposed to go upside down. It's supposed to go the straight line. Why is it not a straight line? <laughs> Heard of my brain? Why is blocky game be circly? How'd all these squares make a circle? <laughs> Hydrate, you got it. I have a full water bottle, this is the best. Okay, so we do it like this. So you, you do, what is this command again? So slash, um, what 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 did we, what was the information for this? Trying to water lock the cap, I need it. My throat is dying, dude. Tomorrow's my one day off. Finally my voice will, Return to me. Slash unlock slash info slash character display slash character info. I think this is what I want. I think I want slash character info. And this will give you everything. Yeah, dude. I feel like we should have done this way earlier. I'm surprised we haven't done this until right now. But stats. Oh, slash stats. Slash stats is perfect. I would use info, Andy, but I want to save info for being able to do like slash info wizard basic one. And it'll just show you what that thing is. Okay, so it's a slash stats command, and it will be ephemeral, so it won't clog up the chat. Okay, fair. They're all just words, bro. I just got to info for the other thing first. Yeah, it's <laughs> classic programming shit. It is what it is. I don't know. It's fine. If it goes help command makes sense. I think, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so this is slash stats. We need to make a new thing in the Discord bot. New command, utility. We're going to add new JavaScript file. This will be stats.js. Stats. Uh, sure, add it, yes. Okay, so we're going to go to... Change class will be similar. So slash... Yeah. Select class. Because select class is ephemeral, right? If I do slash change... Chain... Oops. Select class. Select class. And I'm going to say priest. This is ephemeral, no? It's thinking. Is the bot dead? The bot might be dead. I'm not in the game yet. Join forest. I'm in the forest. Now I do select class. I'm going to say I'm a ranger now. This is ephemeral? This is ephemeral. Okay, I can use this one. A wild web storm appears? I think it'd be so funny to have some of the bosses be like coding shit. Oh, hey. I'll check your DM in just a second. Okay. Definitely one of the characters that we're going to have to fight is, me is the parasite grade that we used for the last wild gem. I'm very excited for that. Okay, so we're going to just yoink most of this because we're going to use a similar thing. Put it in here. We're going to say set name, stats, description, display, displays the information about your character. 
Uh, there are no options for this at all. You just do the thing and you're all good. Oops, I need to delete from here. This, I think. Is it this way? Slash command builder. What's wrong with this? Dot, dot. I need one more. What? Eh? What is happening here? All right, where does this map to? Here? Where does this map to? There. Yeah, so I can just do... That's the right... Oh, I was missing the comma. I see. Async execute interaction. Await send to Goto. This is going to be action. Uh, stats. Get stats. Get stats, I guess, is the best way to do this. Discord ID, username, class name we don't need. We'll just be like this. This will be everything we need. What's wrong? What are you mad about? Expression expected. You're an expression expected. What am I missing here? Oh, I'm missing the extra. God, I love JavaScript. It's definitely a real language and not at all satire. What a cool thing. So the user ID and the username, we use this to fetch out all the information. Let me just need to build the string that's going to be the giant thing. This IntelliJ idea for all my programming. I might switch off of WebStorm. I haven't been super thrilled with it so far. Maxing's RPG stats? I can't even read that. That's Those characters I've never seen before. You port Wii Sports to PC, but it's all in assembly and I want to run it in Unity? Good luck, goddamn. It's not a punch card. <laughs> we need to go lower. It's just a, I just have a box of electrons. At least JS isn't this. Chicken? Chicken. Chicken is the only valid symbol. Oh my god. Chicken. <laughs> chicken. It's chicken time, dude. Chicken, 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 chicken. Is the line break the way you like? <laughs> this is my no. This is my new go-to. Is that IP over avian is better? This is hilarious, dude. I've never seen this before. Hello, world. Chicken, 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 chicken. <laughs> Fucking hilarious, dude. I love it. All right, so this will pass from the bot to the game with the new action called get stats. So we go to our game, we go to player, we go to the Discord integration. Just <laughs> still test for some reason. So it's gonna be get stats. We say get parents dot get character info. We're gonna say data dot disc discord discord ID data dot username like this. There we go. And now we just make this thing. So we go to the player character manager here function this thing return oh we need to send message to discord that's what we do uh send message to discord this and it will be based on your username that's how it maps it back to you if it's our id if your id is in the payload it will ping you if your username is in the payload it will send ethereal first message uh we're gonna need so much for this string holy shit uh for now i'm gonna say work in progress whip Whip. Uh, expect a closing dictionary thing here like this. So go like this. Our string message. Uh, username not defined in current scope. Oh, right. So this is going to be uh, username discord ID. Is that the way I pass it? Let me check that I did it in that order. Oh, it's ID then username. So it's discord ID. And then username. Username. And this will pass back. Hello. Username <laughs> with a dictionary of username maps to the username. There you go. All right, let's try this out. So we should be able to go to this. The bot is running. So we go to we save. We say deploy commands.js. We run this. This is actually reloaded slash command. So I can now do slash character or what is it says so stats oh god the bots are colliding stats uh-oh crash no application did not respond invalid p column equals four is out of bounds what in the fuck does that even mean bro <laughs> excuse me what what uh, stats. Oops, I need to rerun the bot. I've never even seen that error before in my life. Stats. Hello, Sky Gray. Out of bounds, obviously. Yeah, my bad. My bad. 
What program looks like when the rest of your team is AI? That is the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Psych cube. Well played. Oh, that was kind of great. Perfect. All right, so now we need to get your character and then parse a gigantic ass message. Um, okay, okay, okay. This thing, we need all of this. We need all of this shit, including going through here and getting the name of the attacks, which means we'll need to name the attacks. Let's do this part first. So we'll construct this massive string, dude. We really need to move these strings somewhere else. Var character stats equals this. We're gonna go ahead and paste everything in here. So player info, username equals username, level equals level. XP to next level is XP, XP to next level. Current HP max HP is going to be current HP, current HP divided by max HP. Power is going to be power. Defense is defense. Dexterity, you'll never guess. Dexterity, wisdom, we keep going, wisdom. Unassigned stat points, I'm going to say available stat points, I believe is what it is. Class info, active class name, class level, it's going to be active class level. XP to next level is going to be active class XP to next level, Jesus Christ. So now we should be able to grab all of this stuff, send it back to you. We just have to format this massive string now and it should give you everything. There you go. Uh, I currently one-shot green slimes. Yeah, everyone's been grinding in the lower level room. This is why we need more rooms for people to go into, like the, the caves or whatever next. Uh, we'll get there, but yeah, sorry. This is all the content I have for you at the moment. I apologize. We're still working on making your character real. Also, there'll be a stat reset soon-ish. Once I get the characters, once I get like all of this working and the character ability swapping done, we'll have a stat reset. But we should only have like two or three left before we're done resetting people's stats. So I'm, I'm so sorry you had to reset your stats again today, everyone. I didn't mean to do it to you. Uh, I hope you're still having a good time playing the lava lamp. Not another stat reset? I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. I'll probably do an announcement when I'm 100% committed to not doing another stat reset. And then, so once I have the rooms built, once I have the bosses done, once I have the character sets done, once I have the classes finished, then I'll do one last reset and I will keep it there forever. No more stat resets after that. So if I need to retrofit something after that release, I will just build a retrofitting function so i wanted to keep doing this right now we're still building the base game i'm so sorry hydrate you got it buddy thanks for keeping me hydrated i appreciate you also i still don't know how you broke my game how'd you do this how'd you your name is too powerful for me <laughs> but i need to add a bunch of more like intro characters to this spot in the game too we're gonna we have a couple monster packs we're looking at that i'm gonna add in should be a good time can't wait dude okay so this giant string is what we need to format Okay, let's format it. Format it, dude. <clears throat> is what I would say. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to the mirror to the mirror dimension. Do I know assembly? I do. Do we wish to help with the non-assembly stuff? N no. <laughs> I I tend to stay away from assembly. Bring my character. I could break it too. It's something weird with that exact string because normally it cuts it off at ten characters. Um. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the end of the stream, everybody. How's it going? Uh, hope you're having a good time. I'm gonna call it for now. I gotta actually run pretty quick today. I'm gonna go climb me before the gym closes. But uh, thank you everyone for being here. Hope you enjoyed the game. I'll be back, not tomorrow, it's my one day off. Finally, my voice gets recharged. I will be back on Wednesday, 6 p.m. AST. Very excited. Please help with the Wii Sports PC port, please, Mr. Skygrey. I'm sorry, I'm too busy making games right now. I, I'm. The first and only enemy of scope creep. I refuse to let myself happen. I refuse to let it happen to myself. Now we got the game jam coming up too. Like this Saturday, we're gonna start go to wild jam. So I cannot help you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I wish you the best of luck. It sounds like a fun project, and I'm excited to see what you create. In the meantime, I feel like I feel like there's only one person we have to host, right? I feel like there's only one person that we ever host. One person that we should we should host, right? <gasps> Look at all these people in Chura's chat, but not mine. Wow, betrayers. Let's go say hello to them. Uh, slash raid. Sure at Chomp. I'll see you guys there. Everyone, when you get in there, if you're a follower of the channel, you have this emote. You have the Sky Gray animated. Uh, you have the Sky Gray wave. The wave? 
Which one? Do you, yeah, you have the regular wave. If you're a follower of the channel, you have the regular wave. Spam the regular wave when we get there. Okay. Bye, everybody. And bye, YouTube.